monkey time. Monkey time when the weather is hot. You can reach on down and touch the spot. Whoa! It's me! Your monkey friend! Here for monkey time! Let's pull this bad boy up and get going on monkey time! Let's get some fucking Spyro music playing! We get all cozy wozy in our toesy wozies! Vote for me even though I'm not American Core! Welcome back! Can't remember the last time we saw a core in here! Has to have been at least a day! Alright, folks. How is that, uh... That music looks loud. Is that music too loud? We want it to be a distant background thought. Because speaking of thoughts, we're about to talk about some women! And other such political things. Music is fine. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But I'm always a fan of making it even more fucking quiet. <sighs> Oof. Yikes. One day we'll be monetized on YouTube again. Why was it so quiet? Let's see if I can't balance that. Real quick, and then I'll pull up the shit. One day I'll be a professional streamer who knows what he's doing. One of these days! One of these days! I want OBS up, but I want I want the game volume down. Is that so hard to understand? And now you guys can barely hear it. Cool. Fuck, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. I am I am not the king of audio mixing. I'm not an audio engineer like Sean. I'm a fool. A fool in love with you. Okay, how does that sound? Does that sound okay? Monkey time, monkey time. I took the same exact quiz in my high school civics class the other day. I got mostly liberal, so I'm a libtard. Well, let's see what we get. Let's uh, open this bad boy up. Let's see. Display capture. Where did I hide you? There we go! Whoa! Whoa, baby! Can you get closer to the mic? Absolutely not. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> it's not possible. All right, folks, let me give you a little tale, a little telling of what is to come, a little table of contents for the contents that will be driving you through a table tonight, folks. The 2020 election is heating up. You got Democrats far and wide jumping into the political field saying, fuck that. I want to take down the orange menace myself. They're like Thanos at the end of Age of Ultron putting on that glove that canonically he shouldn't have yet. Quite an oversight from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he says, I'll do it myself. All these Democrats, they want to do it themselves. And me, I don't know where to go. Am I going to be a, a Trump tard? A Trump kin? Am I going to be a Bernie bro? Am I going to join the Yang gang, folks? All of these possibilities. So I thought, what is more fun from a comedian uh, who is basically a teenager on the internet than political opinions, folks? So I thought it would be a delight if we went through the ultimate political quiz, isidewith.com. They ask you your opinions. Trump 2020. <laughs> Maybe. We'll find out at the end of the night. They have uh, every social issue. And folks, this is going to be a long one because you can all, they, they give you like the three, you know, bo most basic options, but then you can click more. We're going to answer every single political question on this fucking thing. I don't care how long it takes. Most of these, I'm not going to have any idea what I'm talking about. In all honesty, I honestly, and I just said honest uh, twice for some reason, back to back. I sincerely have very few actual opinions about any of this shit. I really enjoy playing devil's advocate and arguing for any side uh, just for fun. 
So the idea of actually having my own personal opinion on things that don't even uh, have anything to do with my life whatsoever, uh, it'll be, I think it'll be interesting. We'll probably see a lot of clicking on other stances to really evaluate the possibilities. Maybe I'll have to do a few learn mores. So this will be an educational stream. If you really want to be up to date on the issues and the the potential uh, possibilities and, and the options behind these issues, this might be the stream for you. I think it'll be educational and fun. And keep in mind that the, at the end of the day, I'm just some 23-year-old retard kid who has never taken a poli-sci course in his life. <laughs> so do not get genuinely uh, angry at my opinions because I'll admit right now they're uneducated <laughs> and really meaningless. I'm only taking this so thoroughly because whichever politician it says I am the closest to by my beliefs is who I will be voting for in 2020. My vote is up in the air, folks. No matter who it lands on, I'll vote for them. Even if it's Jeb Bush and he's not even fucking running. <laughs> Anybody. If it's Trump, I'll vote for Trump. If it's Yang, I'll vote for the Yang gang. My, my vote is open. And we're going to go through all these over the course of the night. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on these things. You guys can tell me why I'm stupid and wrong and retarded on all this shit. Because everybody on the internet is a political expert. Yang greater than Wang, eh? Well, let's just get started. Let's get started, folks. Most of the kids in my class got conservative when they took this. I guess it's because my school's in NC. I'm in NC as well. And I think I missed one other donation, so let's check that real quick. I'll be the one to write the Medium article on your political views, calling you a supremacist. Well, <laughs> looking forward to it. All right. Stance on abortion. Let's just let's read through all the options and evaluate them, but I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to going to be going pro uh, choice on this one. Let's see which pro choice. So pro life, pro choice, pro life, and I also oppose abortion for victims of rape and incest. Wow, that's a pretty extremist view. <laughs> oh, you were fucking raped. You're keeping that baby no matter what. <laughs> Get fucked again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Pro-life, but allow in cases of rape, incest, or danger. Okay. Or danger to the mother or child. So if the mother is in grave danger and going to die if she gives birth, there are some people who would say, too bad, no abortion for you. I think that's funny. Pro-choice, but ban after the first three months. Pro-choice, I don't agree, but the government has no right to ban it. Pro-choice, but providing birth control, oh, and providing birth control, sex education, and more social services will reduce- I am on top of the donations leaderboard. Suck my PP, everyone else fort. Kor, uh, if you were inside my body, I would not abort you. You are a hero. <laughs> and more social, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Read more, st okay, no, fuck that. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go pro-choice, because if I knock a bitch up, uh, we're sucking that bad boy out. I don't care if I'm getting the coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> this is not happening, folks. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, ban after the first three months. I th I think I'm leaning towards that one, right? You don't want any, like, uh, <laughs> third trimester abortions. That seems a little fucked up. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. If you, uh, if you don't get that shit figured out in three months, then uh, it's too big. It, it, it resembles a human too much at that point. Put that shit up for adoption. Fucking, uh, yeah, see this shit? Is this true? There's some politicians out there genuinely arguing for abortion of a baby that's already been born. Is that a fucking meme? I saw a clip of a guy saying that on the radio, and evidently he's like a senator. I couldn't believe it. It is real. That is... How do they... What in the... What am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing from that one? <laughs> Okay, let's go to something a little less controversial than killing babies. Letting the gays get married. <laughs> Do you support the legalization of same-sex marriage? Yes, no. Yes, but allow churches the right to refuse same-sex ceremonies. That seems reasonable. Take the government out of marriage and instead make it a religious decision. No, that's stupid. Uh, allow civil unions, but don't call it marriage. Marriage should be defined as a man and a woman. I'm going to say, because 
I, I think uh, marriage should be a thing, a, a governmental thing, because you get those benefits from it, baby. If my ass gets married, you, you think I'm, you think Monkey Jones is getting married for love? Fuck no. Getting married for cheaper taxes. Get on the bitch's insurance. You kidding me? Getting married for love. Getting married for religious purposes. What the? What are you living in the fucking Stone Age? You pea-brained dullards. You get married because the government hooks you up. I refuse to vote until you run for president. It's going to be a few years, Maria. It's going to be a few years. So I'll say, yes, of course I support same-sex marriage. But... Of, uh, who, who would say, I I have to get gay married in your church? That seems fucking bizarre to me. Uh, I I think a church or really any building whatsoever, owned by, what a, a private individual, can say, yeah, no, I don't want to, I don't want to have your ceremony here. Fuck off. Same thing with that gay cake shit. This bakery won't make you your gay cake? Then go to a different bakery, dude. There's millions of them. There's a 100. Why would you want to give your money to a bigot? You fucking moron. Go to a different bakery. I forgot. You can rank these by how important they are. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super. I got to make sure those abortions are legal so I can suck those babies out. Uh, gay marriage. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's read that donation real quick. The medium article's finished. I, I've only done two liberal leaning answers. What could you have possibly written? <laughs> Mumkey, the last question is who will you vote for with a bunch of current future candidates? Would you be open to doing a straw poll for the viewers to decide since the question beats the point of the stream? Well, you can skip any question you want. So I'm going to skip the who would you vote for one because the whole point of me taking this is to find out who I'm going to vote for. As far as a straw poll, there are so many candidates I couldn't fit them all into the poll. People in the chat can just tell me who they're voting for. Okay, let's move on. Should the government continue to fund Planned Parenthood? Now, I'm not up to date on exactly what Planned Parenthood is doing, so, so let's learn a little bit more. Planned Parenthood is a non-profit organization that provides reproductive health services in the United States and internationally. In 2014, federal and state governments provided the organization with $528 million in funding, 40% of its annual budget. So the other 60% of Planned Parenthood's budget is coming from... from... just people, like paying for the service, I guess? Would that be right? So this is like a billion dollar company? Uh, the majority of this funding comes from Medicaid, which subsi subsidizes reproductive health care for low-income women. In 2014, abortions accounted for 3% of the services they provided. Okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's an interesting stat. Only 3% of, uh, their money is going towards abortions, huh? Or 3% of the things they do goes towards abortions. I did not know that. I was under the impression it was <laughs> just the abortion clinic. Uh, what else do they do? The majority of the other services include screening for and treating sexually transmitted diseases and infections and providing contraception. Proponents of funding argue that federal funding for Planned Parenthood does not pay for abortions and that the vast majority of government funding that the organization receives is through Medicaid reimbursements. Opponents of funding argue that the government should not fund any organizations that provide abortions. Okay, let's take a look at these stances. Yes, as long as funding is not used for abortion procedures. Yes, their services reach far beyond abortions and can save many lives through cancer screening, prenatal services, and adoption referrals. No, and the government should not give funds to any organizations. Interesting. No, and the government should not give funds to any organizations that perform abortions. I want to get gay married to Burger's Fist in a Unipraterian Catholic Cathar church. <laughs> then convert to Islam and marry animated <laughs> demon, but only so I can call him a gay boy. <laughs> ha ha ha. Planned Parenthood having little funding is the only reason I'm not abortion. 
<laughs> Thank you uh, for, for that one, Skunky. Boy, howdy, I'm really uh, torn on this one. Definitely gonna say uh, this is not very important to me because I'm struggling to even establish an opinion. Okay. The government, let's start with the government giving funds to an organization. What are some other organizations in that the government gives half a billion dollars in funding to annually? How often is, does it do this? Because if it's like a company, if Planned Parenthood is a private company, why does it need my tax dollars? Especially when only 40% of its annual budget is from the government? Clearly, it's capable of making almost a billion dollars without government funding, right? They give out money to billionaires, the military. The military's part of the government. I mean, I'm asking, is Planned Parenthood a private company or is it part of the government? Which I don't think it's part of the government. <laughs> government gives money, yeah, yeah, to Catholic Church. They're not private since they're non-profit. We will all vote for whoever you get. Wow, 292 votes separated across the whole country. We're really going to make a difference. <laughs> government gives money to the NRA, to lobbyists. It's, it's a private organization. Uh, well, it's, if only 3% of their services are abortions, then... And most of that's going to, like, cancer screenings and shit. I guess it's an important public health and safety organization, but why does it need government funding? It sounds like just going to the doctor. So why can't you just pay for it with insurance, right? Surely you have insurance. Why do, why do I need to give my tax dollars to you getting a cancer screening? or an abortion, or your fucking STD medicine. Hmm. A fuck ton of people do not have insurance? Well, I guess get it. <laughs> I mean, isn't it kind of like a, a mandated thing now, thanks to Obama? You have to have insurance, or you pay a fine? Who censored Asperger? The donation thing. You say the majority is abortions, but it says right here it's only 3%. You can't just say that. The 3% is like equipment and meeting the purposely hard standards abortion clinics have to have. 3% is untrue. I'm just basing this off of what this I side with website has to say. I mean, if you guys have a, a more honest number with a cited source, I would love to see it. 3% is manipulated, 3% is way too low, it's extremely skewed. You keep saying that, but where's your fucking evidence? The burden of proof is on you! It's a liberal site, well. I don't, I don't even fucking care! I just said I'm uh, super duper pro-abortion, I don't fucking care if- it, it could be 100%. My question is, why is the government giving money to this organization? Why can't people just pay for it out of pocket or with insurance? Right? Ooh. It's so tricky because I don't even have a real opinion on this and I have to choose an answer. Maybe I should just go with the government should not give funds to any organizations. <laughs> Fuck it. If you want to be a business, you fucking do it yourself. You don't need my money to do that shit. If I want your services and products, I'll pay you directly for them! Fuck you! I'm doing it, but I'm saying it's least important because I really don't give a shit. Should gay couples have the same adoption rights as straight couples? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, but let's see the other options. Yes, as long as they pass the same background checks as straight couples. No, and gay couples should not be able to adopt children. No, and I believe a mother and father family structure is best for a child. Uh, well, then you better <laughs> ban divorce, if that's your opinion on that one. No, and adoption agencies. Uh, you should also ban uh, people dying. Because, hey, you can't be raised by a single mother or father, am I right, folks? It's not the best structure. 
Oof. Now an adoption agency should prioritize offering children to straight couples before offering to gay couples. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say, uh, I'm on the equality train on this one. Yeah, you pass the same background check, then fuck it, it's fine. Fine by me. I do believe in banning divorce. Well, that's, a li that's more extremist than I, I think any of my opinions could ever be. No one should adopt children. Children should be shot into Mars. <laughs> My civics teacher said adoption agencies should prioritize straight couples. <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, even, uh, you know, single adults should be allowed to adopt children, right? There's so many. Man, if I'm, if I'm a fucking kid living in a shitty-ass orphanage, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm a... I'm a 35 year old man who wants to ad adopt a son. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather live with this guy who passes a background check and has a steady income than live in an orphanage. Are you kidding me? I'd sign up to live with an actual fucking pedophile at that point. <laughs> sign me the fuck up. Sign me up. I'm not living in no goddamn orphanage. Anyway. Yeah, I'm guessing um, living with a single parent or living with gay parents is going to be a better family structure than an orphanage. <laughs> Skip the quiz and vote Yang. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yang gang! Oh, that's from Ben himself. Ben, you just want the thousand dollars a month. <laughs> You're just in it for the free money. <laughs> Should marital rape, oof. Be classified and punished as severely as non-marital? Absolutely, yes! It's fucking rape, it doesn't matter if you're married. Yes, and consensual sex with a spouse under the age of 18 should be stat classified as statutory rape. Calm down, calm down. First of all, the age of consent in most states is 16, so you, you calm the fuck down with that one. <laughs> no, it should be classified as domestic violence, that's fucking retarded. No, marriage provides legal subordination for a spouse to have sex with- Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's just go with a soft yes on this one. We don't need to clarify with this bullshit. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, it's somewhat important to me, sure. And in most states, it's 16. I did, I did my research. <laughs> most are 18, you're wrong. No, it's most are 16. All right. Should health insurance providers be required to offer free birth control? Before reading the other stances, I'm leaning towards no, because it's a competitive market. If you want to be the best health insurance provider, you can choose to include that and then you will get more customers because it's a better deal. And the ones who don't will be seen as a worse health insurance provider. You follow me, folks? It's like, it's business. It's all fucking business. Don't force all businesses to do the same exact thing in terms of the services and products they provide. Let them be competitive and the better ones will be better. Well, let's see what the other stances are. Yes, except for religious organizations and charities that oppose the use of contraception. Something something birth rates. No, it should be covered like any other prescription. Uh, okay. No, the government should support abstinence programs instead. Okay, good luck with that. No, the government should not decide what services a private business. Yeah, I think that's what I'm leaning towards. Your capitalism disgusts me, you straight white male. Ain't I a stinker? I just wear a sock? <laughs> Oof. Ew. Mumkey doesn't care about woman's issues. What do you mean? Nobody is stopping you from choosing one of the insurance providers that provides free birth control. And it's not a, it's not a women's issue. If you get pregnant, it's your problem and the man who came inside you's problem. It's bad for both of you. I want you to have free birth control as much as you do, because I don't want your dumb ass getting pregnant. It's just as important to me, if not more so. But, I'm not going to force every insurance company to do that shit. 
Do you think you'd make a good father? No. No, I'm far too selfish for that. Fuck that. My ex tried to get me to use a lunch bag once. If Making me wear a condom from now on. <laughs> Don't need a condom in the butt, baby! Oh! Oh! Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh no, not that cheap face. <laughs> oh god, here we go! Let's get banned from Twitch, folks! Should gender identity be added to anti-discrimination laws? Oof. Gender identity. AKA, in my opinion, that thing you're making up for attention. Let's take a look at the options, baby. <laughs> Not to be confused with uh, your sexual identity. Gender is all in your head. Yes, and the government should do more to protect minorities from discrimination. Now, when you say minorities, and we're talking about gender, which gender is the minority? Male or female? Because the last I checked, it's a coin flip. Women are not a minority. People seem to get that confused. Women are not a minority because half of people are women. <laughs> In fact, I think globally, 51% of the global population is female. So women are not a minority. I don't know what the fuck you meant by this. No, and repeal anti-discrimination laws for private companies. No, there are only two genders which are genetically, not psychologically determined. No, we should address gender identity as a mental health issue and provide funds for more research and care. Playing on a minefield today, folks. So here's the way I see it personally. I consider people who uh, identify as transgender to not be some strange third and fourth gender. If somebody says, I'm a trans man, I don't think of them as a trans man. That's a man, right? They're identifying as one of these two genders, man or woman. Transgender is not a third gender. I think that's offensive to tra transgender people. They want to, you, you were born, your sex was a female, but you want to be a male, or you feel you are a male, why would we not say you're just a male? It seems uh, just discriminatory in and of itself to not consider that to be the male gender. So, with that being said, the only other genders we're left with are shit like uh, a gender, uh, just, just fucking, it's just like personality quirks at that point. Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong? Like what, what gender do I need to take seriously other than what I just said? Like the, the trans issue is one that I, I try to understand as best as I can and I try to, uh, treat those people the way I would treat anybody else because why wouldn't you? But when you start getting cute with it and you say there are genders a spectrum of 500 million and you're trying to be a special snowflake choosing the most creative fun stupid gender fuck you. <laughs> I say discriminate, discriminate against them. Don't discriminate against somebody for being a man, a woman and that includes trans men and trans women to me. Don't discriminate against them for their gender. But if some fuckface is saying, oh, I'm, uh, I I'm, I'm, I'm po poly dinosaur gender. Any of that retarded shit, fuck them. Discriminate away. Get the fuck out. I don't, I don't need this shit. If your gender is so crucial to your identity that you need to tell it to me, then I don't think I need to talk to you. <laughs> that, that's the most uh, incredibly interesting thing about your personality is your gender. You're fucking boring! Your gender is not your personality! You suck! So, how do I answer this? I'll just say, I'll just say no. Yeah, no. But I don't really care that much. 
Your gender is Mumkey Jones. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that one. <laughs> Adding this to the Medium article. Th that was a very, very pro-transgender rant. I don't know <laughs> what your Medium article is going to have to say about that. Um, am I scrolling too far? No, okay, we're good. Thank you for the subscription. Should a business be able to deny service to a customer if the request conflicts with the owner's religious beliefs? I already said this earlier. If you're a very religious guy and you own a bakery and they say, hey, make this gay cake with like, a, what, a dick on it and, and two little men on it. I say you, you can deny service to anybody for anything as long as you are not a monopoly. And I have to assume that this small town bakery does not have the monopoly on baked goods in your state. It's all about being competitive in the business, uh, in the marketplace, folks. Sure, be the bigoted baker. Say, I don't want to make cakes for gay people. Guess what? You just lost probably $300 worth of wedding cake business. And gay people... Why in the fuck do you want to give money to a guy who hates you? Why? Are you fucking crazy? Go to any other bakery who will serve you with a smile and count your money and keep it. Are you fucking insane? Don't give your money to somebody who hates you. You moron. So yeah, fuck it. You can deny anybody service for any reason unless you're a monopoly or the government uh yes but only for small businesses yes any business should be able to deny service for any reason there we go yes but the owner must post a sign stating their beliefs and what they refuse that that is pretty funny what college did you graduate from clown college now, this one's funny. I did not think about it this way. The owner must post a sign stating their beliefs and what they... I, I, think, I think I'm leaning towards that one now. <laughs> if you don't want to serve gay people, yeah, put up a sign in your storefront that says, we do not serve gay people. Then they don't have to waste their time going to your place, and they know where you stand, and so do all of your customers. Interesting. It really, it harkens back to uh, perhaps uh, Jim Crow era laws where restaurants would put up like no blacks and stuff like that. But, but in this case, n now all of society is on the side of the minority and these little businesses get to wear a scarlet letter of bigotry, which means they will lose business, not just from the gays, but from anybody who does not like their bigoted policy. I think that's really funny. And if they want to be competitive in the marketplace, folks, they have to swallow those lemons and say, fine, we'll make the gay cake. I like it. I like that a lot. All customers deserve to be treated equally. Yeah, but then you're not treating uh, the beliefs of all sto store owners equally. That's not fair. Yeah, this one's funny. That's fucking hilarious. I'm going with that one. Should the military allow women to serve in... Yes, absolutely. Don't even have to fucking think about it. As long as they... No, no. no. They don't have to pass any fucking test. No, throw them in. <laughs> Sign them up for the draft. Every single one. <laughs> they want equality, baby. You go fight in the army, sister. Have fun. There's that equality you wanted. How's it feel? Let's get more homeless women too, baby. You want fucking equality? 50% of homeless people are now women. How do you like that? True equality. Hope you like it. I hope you like it. There's your equal fucking rights. <laughs> Sign up for the draft like I had to do. <laughs> get in there, sister. Have fun. <laughs> Preventing women from serving in combat roles is discriminatory. Sure. Should the straights sit at the back of the bus? Uh, the back of the school bus is the most coveted seat. So I, I hope to God 
that becomes a rule. Combat rules place women in a high risk situation for sexual assault. Oof. Oof. What the fuck is this a clip of? Uh, men are more likely to risk the success of a mission in order to protect a woman from danger. Protect a women from danger? Who wrote this? A woman would do better in combat than you. Absolutely they would. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Uh, I'm just going to say yes. I don't need to think too hard about that one. Throw him in there. Do you support the death penalty? Oof. Ooh, that's a tough one. I was talking to Sheep about this this morning. Let's learn a little bit more. Let's get, okay. The death penalty or capital punishment is the punishment by death for a crime. Yeah, yeah, 58 countries worldwide allow the death penalty. Well, 90, okay, that didn't really give me what I needed here. Yes, but the victim's family should decide the punishment. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> Uh, only for horrific crimes with undeniable evidence. I mean, ideally, you wouldn't be put on the death penalty unless it was undeniable evidence. So I think that's just a common sense thing. No, too many people are innocently convicted. Well, yeah, that's why I would go with the undeniable evidence portion of it. Spending life in prison is a harsher sentence. Mm -hmm. No. No, yeah. Kill him. If it's a horrific crime with undeniable evidence. Like that, the guy who shot up the New Zealand mosque, just fucking kill him. Just fucking kill him. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> Come on, just do it. We don't need him. What's the use in keeping him alive? It's so cheap to kill somebody too. Why are we doing all these? They say, oh, no, it, it's so expensive to do, to euthanize a human uh, It's better just to monetarily to just keep them locked up for 80 years. What? Shoot him, it's free. Just shoot him in the head. You don't need to be humane. You shoot up a mosque and kill 50 people and you stream it. You don't need to be humane. Just fucking shoot him. It's so fucking cheap. You would save so much money not having him sit in in a cell for decades. Fucking kill him. I keep putting the question under the, under the donation banner. Oopsies. Let's move that bad boy. Let's see, you, uh, uh, let's just make you small over in the corner. There you go. That's where you belong. All right. Uh, should states be allowed to display the Confederate flag on government property? Oh, God. Oh, man, okay. Yes, it symbolizes rebellion, not racism. Well, my counter to that would be, why would a United States of America state, why would their government want to in any way honor rebellion against America? Seems strange to me. But only at historical monuments where it was originally flown. Yes, each state should have the right to display any flag they choose. Mm. Yes, it is a historic historic symbol of the southern fight for states' rights. No, and ban any public... Okay, that's a little too far. We don't need to ban any public display of the flag. No, it is a symbol of racism, separatism, and treason. Oh, okay, now we need to move this bad boy. Susan is trying to shut you down. Con mix, what's going on? If I, if I could help the, the fight against Susan, don't you think I would have done that a long time ago? Okay. Uh, no, it should be put in a museum where it was originally flown. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Now, if, uh, if a country goes to war with the United States, I don't know why it would be honored at a, like, a United States capital. You fucking lost. You should, if you wanted your flag flown on this land, you should have won the war. Keep that shit in a museum. That's what I say. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna... What are we gonna... Do, do most uh, government buildings, like, fly... What, the, the flag of the Nazis? The flag of uh, Japan? Do we have a lot of those in our state capitals, too? Hey, look at these people who slaughtered millions of our citizens. Let's honor them. 
It belongs in a museum! That's right. Is that a... You're taking that from Whitey's Kids You Know from the, uh... Uh... The Indiana Jones sketch? If you wanted... Wait, what is... If you wanted to be free, you should have just won? Absolutely! That's how war works! You want... You want freedom? Win the war, baby! You lost! Confederate flag, you lost the war! You stay in the museum, baby! <laughs> South, if you want to fly that flag in, uh, on my government property, you better rise again! The South better rise again, and you better bring a better military this time! Stonewall harder than ever before, baby! Was Stonewall Jackson the North or the South? I, you know what? I don't know enough about this. Should terminally ill patients be allowed to end their lives via assistance? Yes. Don't even- I don't even need to read the other stances. Not- I'm so extremist on this one, it's not even terminally ill patients. Anybody. I say literally anybody should be allowed to end their lives via assisted suicide. Anybody. Absolutely. Just let them die. Most important. Most important. Yes, but only if there's no chance they will survive their illness. Yes, but only after a psychological examination to show they fully understand this choice. Now that's interesting. I would hate for somebody to not understand that they're signing up for suicide. Even without the terminally ill part. Perhaps uh, somebody has a certain mental illness where they don't even know what they're talking about. Let's do this one. Robert E. Lee was actually a great general. He shouldn't have fucking lost then. He should have fought a little harder. <laughs> it sounds like he sucked. <clears throat> All right. Should businesses be required to have women on their board? No. No. Again, why are we requiring businesses to do shit? If they want to if they want to do it, then let them do it. If they don't, then they don't. It's all public record. If they think it's good for business, do it. If they think it's not, then don't do it. Yes, but only for large international corporations. Yes, and the government should do more to require diversity in the workplace. Jeez, fuck off. No, board members should be the most qualified regardless of... Okay, I agree with that one. Regardless of gender, you can have all women! You won't see me complaining if they're the most qualified! Regardless of gender! I wanna... Whoa. <laughs> That's a... I don't know if you can, uh... I don't know if that counts as assisted suicide. I don't think a doctor would help you with that one, Conmix. <laughs> okay. Uh, government should never require the diversity of private businesses. I agree with both of these. How can I agree with both simultaneously? It's not fair. I'm going to go with that one, though. Should transgender athletes be allowed to compete in athletic events? Ooh! Ooh, I might be losing some of the, the goodwill I gained with the transgender community earlier. Because this is, uh, well, let's, oh my god, that's a lot more to learn. Oof. I don't like these stories I'm reading about, uh, trans women getting first place in all of these athletic competitions. Oh, really? Somebody who was, uh, physically, genetically male for probably close to two decades, really, they won against people who have been women- all their lives, really? That happened? I'm, wow, I'm so surprised. Weight class is more important. Yeah. Yeah, is there an option for that? I'd agree with that. And the US rules vary from state to state. Well, okay, whatever. Yes, but only if their hormone levels are equivalent to those in the gender category in which they compete. Even then, they have the unfair advantage of, what, 16 full years of, like, full testosterone and male muscle growth and shit? Just because, uh, you identify as being the other gender, you are still physically the sex you were born as until you go through all these hormone therapies and shit. So you just have the unfair advantage from birth. No athletes should compete based on their biological sex. Wow, we don't really have a lot of options for this one. Fuck. Should they be allowed to? I'll say this. 
if I say no, then that's like a blanket no under no circumstances. But my caveat would be, of course, there would be situations where it should be allowed. Like, for example, if all of the other athletes in the competition agree that it's fair, then absolutely it should be allowed. Fair game, right? I don't want to outright ban, you know, blanket ban something outright. I like to give people flexibility and options. So yeah, sure, but I really, I really don't care that much. <sighs> okay. Should the government support a separate... Man, we're going to be here all day. There's so many questions and we're almost an hour in. Monkey over here being rational. Oh, no. <laughs> don't put that in my... Don't put that in my Medium article. Rationality is a sin over there. Oh, Lo, Lo Faza, how dare you? Where, where is the one transgender fan in the chat? I want to hear what they have to say. Where are you at, girl? You, you, have, you have to now speak for all transgender people. <laughs> so tell me your opinion. <laughs> Lou, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> talking about uh, Princess Maria. Okay, let's go. Should the government support a separation of church and state by removing references to God on money, federal buildings, and national monuments? The edgy atheist in me is wanting to say yes. I, I don't like that my federal money says in God we trust. What's this we? What's this we? I'm not included in that we. I don't trust your damn God. Uh, do not waste money removing existing references. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, it creates a bias against religions that do not believe in God. Uh, true. No, as long as it does not reference a specific religion. That's also fair. It just says God. But, at the end of the day, I'm somebody who doesn't believe in any God. So, um... No, religion is an important aspect of our country's history. Eh, well, learn to evolve. Your history sucks. I am my own god. Don't care. You know what? I'll say, uh, I want it removed, but not enough to waste my money on it. So you know what? Stop doing it. S you'll save a shit ton of money printing money. When you, when you print out dollar bills, you're going to save some ink. Not writing, in God we trust on it. So yeah. Stop doing that shit, but don't waste money uh, getting rid of the stuff that already exists. There you go. Easy. Should women be allowed to wear... Uh, is that a, is that how you spell hijab? Niqab? What the fuck is this? Niqab or face veil to civic ceremonies? A, what's a civic ceremony? Uh, several Western countries, including France, Spain, and Canada, have proposed laws which would ban Muslim women from wearing... A, I assume hijab in public spaces. What? Okay. Yeah. Why? No. Why would we ban that? Yeah. Why would we ban that? And it's not even respecting a cultural tradition. It's fucking. This bitch wants to cover her face with some cloth. Who cares? Their identity must be privately verified by a female staff member. Why? In case it's like a dude. Whatever, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Should Univer- <laughs> It's a hard decision for me about the trans wrestling thing, Mumkey, but they should at least be on HRT for a few years. Thank you, Princess Maria. I'm not so offensive when an actual transgender person half agrees with me. Let them cover their face. Yeah, I fucking- What, are you gonna ban hats next? Wear whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Should universities provide trigger warnings and safe spaces for students? Okay, let's see the stances. Yes, provide trigger warnings, but students do not need safe spaces. Yes, provide safe spaces, but they do not need trigger warnings. No, college is meant to challenge students' thoughts and opinions so they are prepared for real life. So here's, here's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. He embarrasses us every day. No, but really. 
a lot of these I approach from really uh, either how does it affect business? Uh, like, does it does it create fair business competition? Um, common sense, according to my own common sense, and how does it affect me personally? This is one of those where, personally, I never needed safe spaces. I never got triggered. I never needed a trigger warning. But what is the question? Should they provide them? They should be able to. I don't want to ban it because clearly some people are fragile enough that they need these things, even though I personally don't. But the question seems too vague to me. Should they? As in, should they be required to? Should Or should they be able to? Two very different things. Uh... So I, I want to say, like, they can, but I don't, I wouldn't want them, like, I wouldn't need that myself, and I wouldn't care. Add my own stance. Okay. Okay, my own stance. Let's uh, go, uh, well, let, and I'll, I'll, I'll add my own. They should be able to, but it shouldn't. By the way, in my basic training flight, I told everybody about your channel. Then when we all eventually graduated and they couldn't find your channel, I bet they all think I was lying about you. Yeah, I'm sure that's they jumped to that conclusion that you, you were lying and made me up. Uh, hey, thanks for spreading the word about me, though, Conmix. I appreciate it. Tower's back. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on in that chat? <laughs> All right, so I don't know how they're going to count my own stance into my overall score. But there you go. National security issues. Oh, boy. We're all out of the social politics. Now we're getting into stuff that I have no idea about. Oh, there's only two of these? There's no extra questions? Should the president be able to authorize military force against al-Qaeda without congressional approval? Now, my understanding of the president is that he is the leader of the military. He's like, above all the generals, right? He is the, the head honcho of the U.S. military. So ideally, somebody in that position can essentially do whatever they want with the military, right? But should they be able to is the question, not are they legally capable of doing so? Yes, we must use whatever means necessary to prevent another terrorist attack. No, Congress should approve all military conflicts. I think with something as big and important as that, perhaps we need more than one opinion on <laughs> declaring and waging war, right? Maybe even though he's elected, to that, you know, commander-in-chief position, should one person really be making that decision all by themselves? Hmm. But then again, if you just move it to, what, the Congress, it's just gonna be, well, is the Congress mostly the president's party or mostly not? And then it's not, it's just gonna be, it's like pointless at that point. Which is the, the Congress is either going to automatically agree with the president or automatically disagree. I don't think they're going to even think about it. War can only be declared by Congress. The president should be able to use his military. If he can't get the budget from Congress, however, he's fucked. Hmm. This is a tough one that I don't know a lot about. And I also don't really care. President cannot declare war. Okay, so this is military force, which I guess I interpreted as war. Hmm. The opportunity for a fair debate. The all or none budget we have today is retarded. Mm, my gut's telling me, uh... My gut's telling me there's, a. Uh, Let's let's talk about it. Let's have the debate. 
This isn't a dictatorship. One guy should not be making that big of a decision without hearing at least from his other elected colleagues. But really, uh, at the end of the day, I don't really give a shit. Should the U.S. assassinate suspected terrorists in foreign countries? Uh, okay. Again, with the undeniable evidence. Yes, but only if there is undeniable evidence that they are planning to attack our country. But yes, only if there's undeniable evidence that they have committed an attack against our country. No, they should be captured and given a fair trial. No, fuck. Fair trial is for Americans. This bitch is not an American. <laughs> no, capture... Uh, no, capture, interrogate, and imprison them instead. I like this undeniable evidence thing because it gives me a lot of uh, automatic plausible deniability. It's like, well, it's undeniable evidence that they that they committed an attack against my country. Yeah, fucking kill them. Fucking kill undeniable evidence. Fucking kill them right now. Send in the drone, Trump. Send it in. Don't even ask Congress. Just send it in! It's undeniable evidence! I want to say yes to both of these positions. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with, uh, planning. Because I- I think, uh... Like, this is a revenge kill, which is fun, but this is stopping... Slaughter. Undeniable evidence you're planning an attack? Yeah, you're fucking dead. Get killed. All right, environmental issues, baby. Let's see how selfish I really am. <laughs> Suspected terrorist, undeniable evidence. <laughs> yeah, these really are terribly worded questions. <laughs> okay. Should the government increase environmental regulations to prevent climate change? Yes, and provide more incentives for alternative energy production. No, tax carbon emissions instead. No, and global warming is a natural occurrence. No, provide more incentives for alternative energy production instead. And increase environmental regulations. Provide incentives for alternative energy production. trying to figure this one out. It seems like these are more or less the same thing, but saying, no, don't give us the regulations. Just give us incentives to do it ourselves. Hmm. Well, I, I gotta I gotta come out and say it, folks. I'm not a global warming. I'm, I'm not a uh, climate change denier. I'm a believer. I'm a believer, folks. It's not a Chinese hoax. I, uh... Hmm. Yeah, how do we fix this? How do we fix the climate change? The U.S. Oh, this is a horrible song. So much pollution. How do we fix it? You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. More regulation. No more, no more throwing smog into my air. How dare you? But also we should give incentives for people to what? Go down, uh, what? Solar? Wind? Nuclear? I don't know. This one's really not that important to me. You think China is going to stop building coal pipe? Uh, hasn't China been making huge steps in, uh, in being more green and ecologically friendly? Pretty sure I just read that. That China is doing far better than we are, and they're making huge steps to improve even to this day. None of this shit has been important to you? Uh, you must have missed the abortion question, my friend. Very important to me. China is a funny place. If we want to fix our pollution, we got to confront China. I'm telling you, dude, I think the U.S. is, uh... I think the U.S. is doing less about it than China is right now. But it, just because... Even if your argument is, well, China's doing it even worse, so why would we improve? 
Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm fucking retarded over here. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, mom, you don't get it. My my brother stole something, so it was okay for me to steal too. <laughs> I have the mind of a fucking four year old. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? It's not okay to do a bad thing just because somebody else is doing it, you fucks! Should the U.S. withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement? Uh-oh. Gonna have to learn more about this bad boy. Very ableist. <laughs> fucking sue me. What do you- I don't care. I don't give a fuck about people who- What? I'm making fun- Oh, I'm making fun of people who talk like this? How many people genuinely talk like that? If they got a problem, they can come to my house. I'll, fu I'll fucking fight them. <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> it's like uh, it's like making fun of uh, orphans. What are they gonna do? Tell their parents? <laughs> Bring it on! Now I apologize to anybody who is a caricature of whatever this is supposed to be. I'm so sorry. Okay. In June 2017, President Trump announced that the U.S. would withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord with an effort to boost the nation's industry and energy independence. Mr. Trump argued that the Climate Accord was unfair to the U.S. since the agreement imposed easier restrictions on China and India, who lead the world in carbon emissions. Opponents of the Climate Agreement argue that it unfairly penalizes U.S. energy companies and consumers by imposing restrictions on domestic energy production. Proponents of the Climate Accord agree or argue that exiting it sets back decades of dif diplomatic efforts by the U.S. government to reduce worldwide carbon emissions. So should we withdraw? The only options are yes, no, and yes until other countries are held to the same standards. Okay, let's talk this one out. What's my stance on abortion? You're gonna have to rewind the tape, buddy. We're way past that one. So. Paris Accords. The climate agreement is saying, hey, let's all do things that are better for the environment. But, according to Trump, China and, and, and India, uh, you only have to do this much, which means you are more you're more you're better equipped to compete on the global market whereas us you have to do this much which means it's going to up the cost of production in your businesses and you will not be able to compete as easily i say the the environment is not dependent on this Paris climate agreement. Fuck it. If it doesn't want to be fair to all countries, then fuck it. We can still improve the environment and do shit on our own end without having to be involved in this fucking climate agreement? Fuck that. Fuck, yeah, what, you're gonna make it Making uh, it easier for other countries, but shitting on us? What the fuck? Let's renegotiate this shit then. We'll, we'll sign your stupid paper once you make it more fair. In the meantime, we should still be making our own efforts to uh, fight climate change. We, we don't need to be part of this bullshit agreement that's not fair. So I'll say yes. But it's really not that important. All right, what do you guys think? Am I stupid on that one? The agreement gives other countries zero responsibilities. Yeah, fuck, fuck this stupid agreement. We don't need this shit for the sake of the... We, we can do shit without this fucking Paris agreement. It's, well, why, why... How does signing this paper change anything? Should we withdraw from the Sokovia Accords? Now, that's an interesting one. I hope that one is on here. The agreement is BS, okay. Should disposable products such as plastic cups, plates, and cutlery that contain less than 50% biodegradable material be banned? Yes, and ban all disposable products that are not made up of at least 75%. No increased consumer incentives to recycle these products instead. That's a pretty good point. 
That's a pretty good point. Everybody's always telling me to recycle. But recycling's a big fucking waste of my time. <laughs> if, you gotta play into the greed of the average man. If you want me to help save your planet by wasting the limited amount of time I have on this earth recycling, you better make it worth my while, folks. That's right. Increase consumer incentives. No, but increase tax incentives for companies. No, fuck that. No, yeah, make it make it a good deal for me. Fuck the companies. Yeah, oh, I'll, I'll recycle every goddamn thing in my house if you if you make it worth my while, baby. I only got so much time in the day. I don't got time to go to what the recycling plant? Wasting my time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Princess of Wacky Land is a. <laughs> Not a real trans. It's a. It's a, she's a trans woman. <laughs> you missed. Did I miss more? Oh yeah, you're right. Great. My favorite questions. Should the government give tax cuts and subsidies to the wind power industry? Yes, wind power is the best alternative to coal to coal and natural gas. Yes, the government should support more sustainable energy technologies. Uh, I think I agree with that. No, end all tax credits and subsidies to the energy industry. No, and the government should never support unproven technologies. <laughs> is wind power really an unproven technology? I'm pretty sure it's been working. <laughs> wind power is an inferior alternative to uh, oil, coal, and nuclear power. That may be true, but there is a finite amount of oil and coal. There's not a finite amount of wind. So the sooner we invest into improving... Uh, wind and solar power and all those things and of course nuclear. I'm glad they included nuclear at least Long term for the sake of humanity at, at one point those are gonna be the only options we have left. I Don't know when I don't know when we're gonna run out of coal and oil. It probably will be what a millennia for not from now But uh, long term. I mean the sooner you invest in this shit the better right? Wind is a major meme I don't know a lot about wind in particular, but uh, I'm on board with nuclear power. Nuclear might not be clean, but at least it's unlimited, right? We're gonna run out of oil and coal, folks. Start streaming Fortnite, I'm on it, con mix. <laughs> Windmills are ugly as shit. Uh, I tend to disagree. There were lots of uh, great, uh, beautiful windmill farms in Iowa. Uh, I think uh, saying windmills are ugly is the real meme here. I think they look great. Uh, gender identity questions should have had options for only trans people with dysphoria, not the stupid million gen- Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Think of the birds. It's uh, survival of the fittest. Dumbass bird flies into, uh, into a windmill. It deserves to die. That's what I say. If you think a windmill could be ugly or attractive, get help immediately. I don't mean I want to fuck a windmill. I mean, architecture and machines can be aesthetically pleasing. What are you getting on about in this chat? All right, all right. Maybe wind isn't the best one, but uh, I'm really, I think we should invest in things other than oil and uh, coal for long term. So, let's just, uh, let, let's, just let's support more sustainable energy technologies. That's what I'm going to go with. Do you support the use of hydraulic fracking to extract oil and natural gas resources? I don't know a lot about fracking. Windmills are so great they will blow you away, fam. Fracking is the process of extracting oil or natural gas from shale rock. Water, sand, and chemicals are injected into the rock at high pressure, which fractures the rock and allows the oil or gas to flow out to a well. While fracking has significantly boosted oil production, there are environmental concerns that the process is contaminating groundwater. Oof. Do we support the use of it? Yes, but increase oversight. Yes, but not in heavily populated areas. No, we should pursue more sustainable energy resources instead. 
No more research is needed to measure the long-term effects of fracking. Okay. So on the last question, I said, long-term, we should invest in other renewable energy sources, but only because we will eventually run out of these finite resources like oil. But I still think we should use oil until we can't anymore. I'm a gatekeeper to being trans for saying you need dysphoria to be trans. I'm not even going to speak on any of that. It's, uh, it's all Greek to me. I'll take your word for whatever you're saying. Fracking fucks shit up. All right, boys. What do we think about fracking? I have no opinion. Fracking moves the tectonic plates. I don't know if it's really that dangerous. If it's causing more harm than good, then uh, I'd say find a better way to extract the oil. Fracking is good, but can fuck shit up. Freaking fracks. <laughs> Watch the Simpsons episode on fracking. Fracking makes ice cream taste bad. It's not as bad as it's made out to be, but it's pretty bad. Use more water and sand and less chemicals. Okay. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, do it. But uh, if you're contaminating groundwater, let's contaminate as few people as possible. Really, it's another one that I just really don't give a single fuck about. But I have to answer all of these. Should the government stop construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline? I didn't fuck my windmill. Yeah, I didn't come on my windmill. Perfect. The Dakota Access Pipeline is a 1,172-mile oil pipeline that stretches through North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, and Southern Illinois. The pipeline would allow oil companies to transport crude oil from North Dakota to oil refineries along the eastern seaboard. The pipeline's construction was permitted by the participating state governments under eminent domain, opponents of the pipeline, including several Native American tribes, including the Meskwaki and Sioux tribal nations, argue that the pipeline has the potential to pollute their water supply and destroy Native American burial sites. Proponents argue that the pipeline is necessary for the U.S. to achieve energy independence. Let's take a look at some of these stances here. Yes, and the government should never be allowed to acquire land by eminent domain. No, but reroute the pipeline away from Native American land. Uh, that would probably, what, double the length of the pipe? No, but drastically increase the amount of fines the company must pay in the event of an accident. I like that one. I do like that one. Let's do that one. Yeah, no, eminent domain, bitch. We're, we're doing our pipe. The state government said we can do it. But I hate oil spills as much as the next guy, so if you're not as careful as you can fucking be with this goddamn oil pipeline, if you're spilling oil into the goddamn water supply, go fuck yourself. You're paying a huge goddamn fine. Fuck you. Fuck you. There you go. G give the fine money to the Native Americans. They can build a new burial site. <laughs> Build a burial site uh, uh, at the top of a skyscraper so then no oil lines can go through it. Okay, should the U.S. expand offshore oil drilling? I have to assume... Uh... Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's all good, uh, Princess Maria. I'm not dealing with anything. I enjoy having your perspective! Should the U.S. Exp okay, 1990. Natives treat natives like an endangered species. I mean, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they kind of? <laughs> we uh, kind of exterminated most of them, didn't we? In 1990, President George H.W. Bush passed an executive order banning all offshore drilling in U.S. coastal waters in response to rising gas prices. Uh, his own son lifted the ban. Whoa! Sorry, Dad! I have a different opinion, baby! Uh, as they were thus discoursing, they discovered that 30 or 40 windmills that are in the plane... What are you fucking talking about, Skumkey? <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Yeah, I think you should drill for oil. Uh, but should we expand it? Deregulate the energy sector to let the free market determine the best energy sources. End all offshore oil drilling. Nationalize the energy sector. No, but maintain our current offshore oil. This is one of those that I, again, I know nothing about and I don't care about. Provide more incentives for alternative energy production. Uh, you know what? Sure, yeah. Keep doing it. But also the thing where you can do other stuff. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay, final... Final question in this stupid environment shit. Should cities be allowed to offer private companies economic incentives to relocate? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of options here. Yes, as long as the local environment is not compromised. Yes, as long as the tax revenue will eventually exceed the tax incentives. Yes, if the company promises to create new jobs by hiring local residents. Yes, but only if local citizens can vote on the amount of incentives to offer. Yes, but I would prefer lowering corporate taxes to benefit all local companies. No, but punish them for moving jobs out of the country. No, the government... Some... Oh, my God, it's time for ham cam! Uh-oh. Okay. Gotta take a quick break. For ham cam. <laughs> Folks, this is our hamster Puddles. She will soon be getting an older sister. We're getting a cat soon. And, uh... And I hope they'll be good friends. Puddles, why do you never want to look at the cam? Look at the ham cam. She's always trying to turn around. She does. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Are you taking her away already? No. <laughs> it's Hamtaro time! Hamtaro! When we work together, it is better. My best friend! We like sunflower seeds, crumb, 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 my ham, ham. I don't know. Does she want to sit on my head? Like a Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Taking it away, it's make, uh, take it away, it's making me feel wholesome. That's what some guy said. Are there any questions about hamsters? Yeah, why is she trying to crawl down my back? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what is your uh, <laughs> political stance on hamsters? <laughs> Should minimum cage size be regulated? Where's she going? I don't know. Yeah. Here, you get her. <laughs> okay. That was her ham break of the night. <laughs> I wasn't going to drop her. She was in full control of herself. I believe in Ham's rights. Ham has a right to regulate herself. Okay. Back to shit I don't give a fuck about. Hamsters have the legal right to <laughs> commit suicide. <laughs> I wasn't planning on fucking my hamster, don't worry, con mix. <laughs> that sheep just stole your ham? Yeah, it's bullshit. That was a good ham, you're right. I did not fuck my hamster, I did not come on my hamster. Should cities be allowed to offer private companies economic incentives to relocate? Sure, I don't fucking care, man, sure. Why not? Economic issues! Let's solve some crises, folks. Should the government make cuts to public spending in order to reduce the national debt? I don't give a fuck about the national debt. It means nothing. It's a meme. It's what? 17 trillion dollars? Who fucking cares? I say let's just ignore that bad boy. Let it get up to 100 trillion. Who? What? It's money we owe to other countries? Fuck them. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. 
Yes, and increase taxes. Yes, and eliminate federal agencies that are unconstitutional. Yes, but by drastically reducing the benefits and salaries of government officials. No, reduce military spending instead. I like that one. We, we need to reduce military spending a shit ton, folks. No, focus on ending tax evasion instead. Yeah, that's going to do it. No, increase taxes on the wealthy instead. No, reduce the number of government officials instead. Uh, no, increase taxes on large multi yeah, yeah. Here's the most important political question you will ever answer. Are tomboys the best girls? I have to say yes! Yes, indeed they are! Absolutely. You know, if we're gonna cut something, don't be cutting the public spending. Cut the fucking military. Even though, either way, I don't really give a shit about reducing the national debt anyway. What a meme. Should the U.S. raise taxes on the rich? Uh-oh, I hope there aren't any billionaires in the audience today, folks! You might get triggered! You might get triggered today! Should we raise taxes on the rich? Yes, and increase taxes on all income brackets. Oh, calm down. <laughs> calm the fuck down. <laughs> I get taxed way too much as an independent business. <laughs> Reform to a flat tax? No, but lower taxes for the poor. No, keep the current tax structure. No, the income tax rate and remove... Lower the income tax rate and remove all existing tax loopholes for large corporations. Um, That's not a bad idea. That's not really a yes or no. Abolish the income tax, disallow all deductions, and increase sales tax? <laughs> That's- what is that, like, full chaos mode? God, I- It's like- it's the most unrealistic bullshit. But I really like that idea. I only pay taxes when I choose to buy something. All the money I earn is my money. And, uh, if, what, I, I go out and buy this LaCroix, I get taxed, what, like 20% for it? But at the end of the day, I do want the rich to give me more of their money! I hate them! Why do they have money and I don't give me your money? <laughs> <laughs> Can't find any good hentai games like Sunrider Academy. Can someone please give me some recommendations? Hook our boy up in the chat. <laughs> Sheep says we'll be rich one day. Let me say this, folks. And you're not going to like to hear this, some of you out there. I have zero empathy for billionaires. None. Zero. I don't care about their problems. It means nothing to me. Because when you have billions of dollars, you can solve any of your problems with your infinite wealth. I don't care. I don't give a shit about billionaires. When I see those stats about how 1% of the population has, what, 45% of the money, I think, fuck those people. <laughs> fuck them. I don't care how they earned it. Most likely they were born into it. 95% of them were born into it. Didn't fucking work a day in their lives to earn that shit. I fucking hate them. Raise the, raise the taxes on them. You cannot spend billions of dollars. You don't need it. I know people don't like that argument of, Oh, who, who are you to say what I need? You don't need billions of dollars. Fuck you. Increase those goddamn taxes. Fuck them. And if you're a billionaire in the audience who got offended, well, you can always shoot your friend Monkey Jones a million dollars and I'll change my mind. I'll retake the quiz. <laughs> Hook a brother up and I'll make me a billionaire. I'll, I'm sure I'll change my mind real fast about how much I should be taxed. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll change my mind instantly. <laughs> M. Plemon doesn't like Reddit because Puddles the hamster cucked him and leaked his nudes onto r slash loaded diaper. Oof. Monkey, you're an idiot. Billionaires deserve every penny. Thanks, buddy. 
I'm sure. No, yeah, you're probably right. I think uh, I think 80% of people uh, uh, struggling to afford uh, their monthly bills and 1% of people just sitting on billions of dollars doing nothing with it. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing for the economy. But what do I know? I guess I'm not an, an economist, am I? I don't give a fuck. Fuck the rich people. I, 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 even if it's bad for the economy, I hope it is. I just fucking hate rich people. <laughs> I hate billionaires. It could say, yes, increase the taxes and all of the economy will be destroyed. I would still click on it. <laughs> because I, I have a grudge against these fuckers and I want them to be in pain. Fuck them. I don't give a shit. I, I don't discriminate by age, by race, by gender. I'll discriminate by billionaire status. Absolutely. Why not? Oh no, Monkey doesn't like billionaires. Oh, this poor minority class. How will they ever recover from this discrimination? Fuck them. Fuck them. Give me a million dollars, I'll change my tune otherwise. Fuck them. Should the government raise the federal minimum wage? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm sure all these uh, armchair economists in the chat are gonna be chatty Cathy's about this one! <laughs> the economy got us into this shit. Destroying it will get us out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what if they are one dollar short of a billion? Do you still hate them? No. Exclusively, I hate billionaires. If you're a dollar short, you're just a millionaire. Should the government raise the federal minimum wage? Yes, and make it a living wage. So does that... does By living wage, do you mean... It's different based on the cost of living in each region? Is that what a living wage means? Like the California living wage is different from the Wyoming living wage? Adjusted every year according to inflation. Regardless, minimum wage standards should be adjusted by age group. And that sounds like some age discrimination to me. Just come back home, son. Uh, if you mean come back home by returning to a certain style of content, the new monkey box video is almost... Uh, almost here, folks. Don't you worry, it's coming. I'm so sick of these people posting... Uh, uh, in, in my comments, I just posted a new video on the All Hail Chancellor Susan channel. It was uh, a new Depression Chamber story. and All these comments, Monkey, why don't you do scripted videos anymore, Monkey? M bitch. <laughs> uh, go through this channel's history. I literally had an edited scripted video less than two weeks ago, you greedy fucks! I guarantee you those people are also the ones who have they've never given anything on Patreon, never donated anything. These entitled fuckers who don't even look to see the video history to know that I've still been making scripted fucking videos. <laughs> Fuck you. But uh, this big uh, monkey box video is coming very soon, so don't worry. Don't you worry. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm giving you too much free content of, uh, of a genre you don't personally love. Oh man, what a crime. All of my content doesn't cater specifically to you! Oh! Hey, if you're a billionaire, give me a million bucks. I'll make my con all my content will cater specifically to you. One guy complaining in the comments section. Don't you worry. Uh, if you don't support on Patreon, then it literally is free content to you. Because you didn't pay shit. If you get something for free, it is free to you. I don't know how that's a complicated concept. <laughs> never subbed, never donated, ad block on free entertainment. Exactly, Pumba gets it. This shit is free. It's fucking free, so you have no right to complain unless you have a monetary stake in it. Otherwise, why would I even care? Anyway, let's get back to talking about the minimum wage. Each of your streams runs me about 50 bucks. Conmix, you gotta slow down with that shit. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is going to ruin your life. Oh no, what content is he gonna force me to make? Okay. Uh, eliminate all wage standards? No, this will only cause prices to increase in a never-ending cycle. That's what people in the chat seem to think. 
No, most minimum wage jobs aren't meant to de are meant to develop experience, not support a family. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of people who uh, have no other choice, and the only job they can get is minimum wage. I don't think anybody is going out of their way to choose to be stuck at a minimum wage job. I, I keep hearing this meme that if you increase minimum wage, it'll just automatically inflate the price of everything by huge margins. But I don't know if I buy that. This country has a long history of increasing the minimum wage. And uh, inflation seems to raise about at the same rate anyway. And since the last time we increased the minimum wage, inflation continued to increase uh, higher and higher. So now you got, you know, minimum wage goes up, inflation goes up, minimum wage goes up. But now minimum wage is staying the same. Inflation keeps going higher. These people stuck at the minimum wage jobs can't afford this shit. I say, fuck it. Make it a living wage. I don't know what that means. It probably means base it on the region you live in. But if you're living in California and you're stuck at a job that is paying $7.25 an hour, that's fucking crazy. And let me tell you, folks. <laughs> you're working. You're, you might think, oh, it's just McDonald's. McDonald's is not an easy fucking job. I think every single person working at McDonald's deserves more than $7 an hour. Minus taxes, what? Around $6 an hour for what is basically slave fucking labor? You ever worked at a drive through at a McDonald's? It's, it's literally fucking slave labor. They're making... You have a long ass line. They're making you talk on the headset and talk to the people at the window, taking their money while taking other orders, and if you make one mistake, you get fucking yelled at and screamed at? You making $6 an hour for this shit? Are you kidding me? Fuck! I, I've had office jobs that paid $10 an hour that were a million times easier than working at McDonald's. It's fucking bullshit. Because at the end of the day, the executives at McDonald's are, are going to be these billionaire people who we all agree that we hate. They're billionaires, whereas people who are doing this crazy fucking slave labor, breaking in six bucks an hour. Eh, whatever. I don't give a shit. I know I sound probably stupid to most people, but I'm not educated in any of this. I'm going off my gut here. And I think it's insanity. I think it's insanity. I don't need you to agree. It's about my opinions tonight. Now, if you guys think uh, if you guys think people deserve to be making six bucks an hour after taxes, doing jobs that are super stressful and hard, then uh, just put that on your conscience. I don't give a shit. Hey, the, l the more money that goes into the pockets of the people, and the less money that goes into the pockets of the billionaires, the happier I am. This is the way it is. That's how I feel. Feels before reels. Anyway. Should businesses be required? I don't like this whole requirement thing. To provide paid leave for full-time employees during the birth of a child or a sick family member. My gut says no. No. Not required. Nah, if you want people... If you want to be a good business, then, uh... Then you can offer that to your employees, but what re required to get paid leave because your family member is sick? Fuck you. Yes, but only for maternity leave. Yes, but only for companies with 100 plus employees. Yes, the lack of paid sick leave is unfair to working men and women. Yes, but the the federal government should sponsor this program instead of businesses. Yes, but only for sick leave, which is unexpected, instead of pregnancy, which is a personal choice. No, too many workers take advantage of these programs. No, private businesses should decide the amount of competitive incentives they offer to employees. 
Uh, yeah, I think I agree with that one. And I'm starting to think maybe that might contradict this previous one, where you might say, well, why have a government-mandated minimum wage when businesses can just put their wages at whatever they want to be better their, to their employees? And to that I would say, yeah, you're probably right. I probably am being a little bit hypocritical with these two answers, but at the end of the day, I still think across the board 725 is fucking bullshit. So I am more than willing to be hypocritical with my beliefs. I don't give a shit. Okay. Should welfare recipients be tested for drugs? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Should employers be required to pay men and women the same salary for the same job? Yeah. No, yeah. Same exact job, everybody gets paid the same. Don't even need to read all that shit. Should the U.S. raise or lower the tax rate for corporations? Oh, God. Okay. Ben Shapiro says, Monkey knows nothing about eco uh, economics, but neither do we, so... Hey, again, at the end of the day, just speak in my mind. I, if I was educated in this, I would not be streaming on Twitch right now. <laughs> He's okay with giving people welfare. That wasn't the question. The question was, should welfare recipients be tested for drugs? That's a different question. Should the U.S. raise or lower the tax rate for corporations? Raise, lower... Oh, God, I don't know. U.S. currently levies a 35% tax rate at the federal level and an average tax of 4% at the state and local level. The average corporate tax rate worldwide is 20. Oh, wow. So we're way high, huh? Opponents argue of our opponents of argue that raising the rate will discourage foreign investment and hurt the economy. Proponents argue that the profits corporations generate should be taxed just like citizens' taxes. Uh, I might be too tired for this one. Uh, I'm not an e economics guy, if you can't tell. Remove taxes on corporations and tax shareholder dividends instead. Maintain the current rate lower, but eliminate deductions and loopholes. Low, uh, keep current rates, but eliminate deductions and loopholes. I don't know. It sounds like our rate is higher than the worldwide average. So maybe we're taxing these corporations too much. Always pick the remove taxes answer. <laughs> yeah, well. Ah, I don't fuck it, man. You know what? I'll say lower. Just because we're clearly way over par on this one. Let's, uh, let's get uh, a little closer to the average. Why not? I like averages. Why not? I don't give a shit. You're gonna major in economics I in know 10 years? I'm a bit late to the subject, but speaking of the recent depression chamber in his... In a parent chat, I genuinely wish there was something we could do for these guys beyond... Submitting out wives and GFS to them. Yeah, Wacky William, uh... <laughs> why do I... Why do I have the feeling that you're not in a parent chat? <laughs> I, I highly doubt Wacky Willy in the monkey chat is a, a genuine a genuine chad but uh that, that's a discussion for another day what we can do to fix these poor incels uh what was i on should the government prevent mega mergers of corporations that could potentially control a large percentage of market share i fucking hate monopolies i hate youtube disney is now becoming a goddamn monopoly buying fox i hate it i hate monopolies should, do I want government involvement in business that much? Not that much. But do I hate monopolies enough to uh, to go against that belief? Yes. Fuck them. If the merged corporation would have more than 50% of the market share, government should not interfere with the free market. Man, I, don't, I got so many conflicting opinions, but I hate fucking monopolies so much. I fucking hate them. I hate YouTube. 
Yeah, I know. If you have more than 50% of the market share, you break the fuck up. Fuck you. YouTube has 95% of the video sharing market share. Do you support a universal basic income program? Oh, is this the Yang Gang thing? A thousand bucks in the mail for free every month? <laughs> Let's take a look! Yang Gang! Give me my thousand dollars! Yang Gang! Hell yeah, baby! Woo! Yang Gang! Yeah! The whole chat's nothing but Yang Gang! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Everyone should receive an income to cover basic necessities, including food and housing. No, this will encourage people not to work. Yeah, no shit. No shit. It w Give me a thousand bucks a month. I'll never fucking work again, baby. <laughs> Give me. Government says you automatically get a thousand bucks a month. Now I'll, I'll delete my Patreon. I'll delete my Twitch. I'll never work again. <laughs> You kidding me? I, I can live on a thousand bucks a month so easy, baby! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> ah, I'll never work again! <laughs> Dema oh, wait, no, we have more economic questions. Yang gay! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Give me my free money! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do you believe labor unions help or hurt the economy? Uh, I think labor unions are good, but that seems to be a different question. The question here is, do they help or hurt the economy? Hurt, I support some private unions, but I'm strongly against public unions. Help, but ban their ability to make political donations. Help in theory, but have recently become corrupt and should have their powers limited. All right. Oh, God. Labor unions represent workers in many industries in the United States. Their role is to bargain over wages, benefits, working conditions for their membership. Larger unions also typically engage in lobbying activities and electioneering. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Some people unironically don't believe in Yang Gang. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh... I'll go with this one. No, wait. Maybe this one. I don't I don't like uh, any large groups supporting political shit. Um Whatever. I don't give a shit. Should there be fewer or more restrictions on current welfare benefits? Oh. Oh boy. No change is needed more and deny benefits to immigrants more current benefits should be capped more but increase benefits for the elderly and disabled more reform the system so that it supplements rather than replaces a working income fewer current benefits do not provide enough support fewer and ensure benefits go to those that need it most. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the welfare state. This is this has Yang Gang written all over it. Give everybody their free thousand bucks for nothing. I'm talking about restrictions here. By 2011, the, the level of public spending on the welfare state by the British government accounted for 113 billion, or 16 percent of government. Fuck. By 2020, welfare spending will rise to one-third of all spending! Fuck. One-third of all spending? But what exactly qualifies as a welfare benefit? Is this like, what, food stamps? Yang gang money? Just sending, sending people checks in the mail while they don't do anything? to contribute to society. What else, uh, what else is a welfare benefit? What else is a welfare benefit? Healthcare. Trey Quan need mo money for them Jordan said. Uh, Nine-tailed cat, I can't, uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what did he mean by this? 
baby food assistance. And we're talking restrictions, so like the ability for people to qualify for these things. Uh, you know what? No change. I don't fucking care. It's, it's too deep for me. I don't fucking care. Is this song or is this album almost over? Oh my god, we're almost to the end of our Spyro, folks. We have to listen to Spyro 3 next. What a long stream this will be. Uh, should the government require businesses to pay salaried employees making up to $46,000 a year time and a half for overtime hours? Government require businesses to pay overtime hours. Again, I'm going to have to go with no. I think uh, if you want to provide that benefit to your employees, then that makes you seem like a better company. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It depends on if you are ch oh, well, salaried employees. So that's different. A salaried employee, then, the contract potentially would say, hey, you work eight dollars or eight hours a day and you get paid this much no matter what. But then if they're being forced to work more than those eight hours, then I don't know, maybe they do deserve more money for that. Hmm. That's a toughie, huh? Most people on salary get no overtime. Well, also, there's so many studies about how the eight-hour workday, uh, most people who go into, like, their office jobs and all that, they only actually spend, like, five hours working, and then they're just, like, fucking around for the other three hours. So, uh, I would say, you know what? How about you spend your eight hours at work doing your fucking job? Then you don't have to work overtime. But then again, that might be, uh, simplifying the whole situation a little bit. The government should do more to protect workers' rights. Yes, and all employees should be paid time and a half for overtime hours regardless of their pay scale. No, and the government is currently over-regulating private businesses. No, our economy and businesses cannot afford a decrease in worker productivity right now. <laughs> worker pro the productivity is already pretty fucking low. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna say no. Nah, businesses can decide or whatever. Government doesn't need to decide that. Isn't your job right now to fill out a survey, yet you've been slacking off a bunch? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> My job is to uh, stream as long as possible to give these 266 losers something to watch <laughs> at 1 in the morning. <laughs> More economic questions, come on! Come on, oh my god, it never fucking ends! We're gonna, oh my god! It never fucking ends! Let's see, how many more questions do we have? I wanna see how far we are. Oh my god, we're gonna be here for the rest of my life. There's so many questions, we're gonna have to go into the speed round. Yeah, we can skip them, but I said I was going to do all of them, but we've been going for two hours! Oh my god, I don't even think we're halfway through! <laughs> Alright, maybe I should just start answering really fast and stop thinking so hard for every goddamn question. I gotta just go with my gut. Don't worry about thinking things out. Be a real, true American. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many fucking questions. We should have done this during the 24-hour stream. Okay, let's see how far we have to go. Oh, the Spyro 3 started playing automatically. Good. All right, we are not even halfway according to my sidebar, so I'm going to be going faster. Should the government increase the tax rate on profits earned from the sale of stocks, bonds, and real estate? Increase the tax rate on profits earned. No, why? Why? No. Wait, increase it to the average U.S. tax rate? Yeah, how low is it? Oh, what? Yeah, just fucking make it fair. Whatever, man. Tax everything. This I don't give a shit. 
Should the president offer tax breaks? Play my Elliot Rogers song. Remind me after we finish this. Should the president offer tax breaks to individual companies to keep jobs in the U.S.? Oh, that's a toughie. Uh, drastically increase taxes and import tariffs on outsourcing businesses. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you want to... Oh, you want to you wanna do your business in, uh, in Mexico? You're going to pay 1 million percent more in taxes? Fuck you! They're taking our gerbs! Government should not interfere with the free market. Drastically increased... Taxes, uh, uh, no, but, okay. I'm gonna go with the no, but punish people who go out of the country. Fuck them. Should the government subsidize farmers? What does that even mean? A farm subsidy is a form of financial aid paid to farmers by the government. The purpose of the aid can be to supplement their income or influence the cost and supply of agriculture products. Uh, they pay more than 20 billion a year in farm subsidies. Proponents argue that the subsidies are necessary since net farm income has declined by 32%. Proponents argue that the farmers should fend for themselves and point out that 2,300 farmers who do not grow crops receive annual subsidies. Uh, yes, but only for organic farms. Yes, but only as a temporary measure to stabilize prices. Yes, but only f small local farms instead of large corporations. Uh, no, end all government subsidies and let the free market run its course. Yeah, but I, I hate Monopoly so much, I want to give uh, the little guy the same opportunity. Fuck it, that one. Don't need to think about it. Next. Should the U.S. citizens be allowed to save or invest their money in offshore bank accounts? Yes, sure. What is fuck? It's my fucking money, bitch. Should the U.S. continue to participate in the North American free NAFTA? Oh God, NAFTA. The North American yeah, NAFTA is an agreement that was created to lower trade restrictions between Canada. Well, you got to tell me why people would be for. I guess we can read. NAFTA helps lower the prices of consumer products. No, but we should adopt. A unilateral free trade policy. No trade between the member countries has become too imbalanced. If that's true, if it's an imbalanced, unfair deal, then I'd say get out of it, right? I don't know. I don't have any idea. Is somebody tell me. Is, is NAFTA a good deal, yay or nay? Stop reading all of them, cuck. Well, I want to get an accurate measure of who I'm going to vote for. I'm not going to fuck up my quiz. NAFTA is no good. NAFTA is fucked. Canada needs imports. Ban NAFTA. You won't get Canada's oil. Just guess this is taking too long. You don't got to watch it. NAFTA is what shipped our jobs overseas. There should just be... I guess the, if you don't answer, that's I don't care. But, uh... You know what? If it's imbalanced, then fuck them. Should the current estate tax rate be decreased? The estate tax is a tax that is levied on all property that is declared in a deceased person's will. The tax is also known as the inheritance tax or the death tax. So basically, people becoming rich because their family was rich, a.k.a. I fucking hate billionaires... Estate tax is 40% and only applies to estates with a value greater than... F ah, that's pretty low. In, okay. Estates were subject to the tax and paid $18 billion in taxes. Proponents of the tax, including Hillary Clinton, argue that the estates should be subject to the tax and the threshold should be lowered to that. Opponents of the tax, including Trump, argue that people who have paid income taxes... That's, all, that's a good point. They already paid taxes on that money. Why should they have to pay taxes on it again just because they died? On the other hand, a person is earning a shit ton of money. Well, I guess they're receiving a shit ton of money that they didn't earn. Somebody else earned it. And I don't really give a fuck about that person getting their free money. Just roll a dice. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm here to give my opinion. We should eliminate it. I'm satisfied with the current rate. Yeah, you know what? Current rate seems fine. Should the government use economic stimulus to aid the country during times of recession? 
Sure. You know what? Should we just stop going to the other stances and just go with a yes or no? I think we'll just do that from now on. A dice cannot be trusted with the future of our country. Yeah, sheep! Should the government uh, add or increase tariffs on products imported into the country? Um... No. No, I, I, I want to tax companies that try to be cheap and ship our jobs elsewhere. But I don't want to pay more money to receive Japanese anime. Are you kidding me? Would you favor an increased sales tax in order to reduce property taxes? Well, I don't, I don't think I own any property, so it doesn't... I don't fucking care. No. No, no increased sales tax. I buy a lot of shit, and I own no property. So the U.S. increased tariffs on imported products from China. Stop pressuring Mumkey to go faster. This is his correct opinion zone. That's right! Uh, so the U.S. increased tariffs on imported products from China. Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. China should be punished for artificially manipulating their currency. Yes, they should! Oh! And, yeah, fuck China. Sheep's trying to influence the election. Yeah, what the hell, sheep? Should the Federal Reserve Bank be audited by Congress? Uh, why? We deserve to know who the bank gives money to? We don't know who they're giving their money to? What the fuck? Should the government classify Bitcoin as a legal currency? Legal how? But it should not replace our national... Well, yeah, no shit. All countries should switch to a blockchain current... No. Uh, no. Bitcoin can just be Bitcoin. Should pension payments be increased for retired government workers? No, fuck them. High enough. Should pension plans for federal, state, and local government workers be transitioned into privately managed accounts? Uh, will jeopardize the financial security of senior citizens? Uh, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, you work in the, uh, in the public sector, you stay there. I don't know what that means, but I'm saying it. Should an in-state sales tax apply to online purchases of in-state buyers from out of... No, nah, no, nah, I'm sick of that. If I buy something online, I don't need to be taxed at the fucking state level for it. Do you support the TPP? I don't know what this is. The TPP is a trade deal that would make it easier for American companies to sell their goods and services in Pacific Rim countries. The deal will, will benefit American service companies who will be able to open up operations. Okay. Opponents argue that this bill will incentivize U.S. companies to move service and jobs overseas. No, don't do that. Proponents argue that it would make American companies more successful at selling their goods. Okay, so we could sell more stuff over there, but we're also going to ship our jobs over there. It will bring economic growth to all countries involved. It will incentivize companies to move jobs out of the country. Too many hidden provisions in this specific agreement. TPP is loaded with nasty shit. Well, I'm trusting that one guy in the chat. Hidden provisions are gross. Domestic policy, here we go. Should internet service providers be allowed to speed up access to... So it's the, uh, the question of net neutrality, right? Uh, can they speed up access to popular websites that pay higher rates at the expense of slowing down less... Po no, monkeyjones.tv needs to stay fast! I hate this shit. Because what, then YouTube gets to make their monopoly even stronger? Fuck you, YouTube! Should there be more restrictions on the current process of purchasing a gun? I'm not familiar with the current process. I don't... Okay, Sandy... I don't care about fucking Sandy Hook. Fuck off. That's not relevant. The relevancy is how restrictive is it? Ban all guns from public use? Oof. Only... But by closing the gun show loophole? Require strict background checks, psychological testing, and training. Only for assault weapons, only for criminals and the mentally ill. Uh, but increase penalties for gun-related crimes. 
Government should pass a national stand your ground law. Guys, I know this is a hot button issue and a lot of people are really passionate about it. It's one of those where I have no fucking idea, man. Like, it's so easy to say, yeah, yeah, put more restrictions on the mentally ill. But the guy who shot up the New Zealand mosque, like, surely he would have passed the test and, 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 uh, and would not have been seen as mentally ill. Because he just acts and, and sounds like a completely normal, rational guy who just had this hatred and wanted to kill these fucking people. The gun show loophole isn't a myth, it's just really dumbly named. Yes, give your opinion. I'm trying to give my opinion. I just don't know what it is. I don't I don't know how many restrictions there already are, and I don't know how adding new ones will magically find out who is going to commit a shooting. I I am pro second amendment. I think everybody should be able to own fucking guns if they want to. I'm okay with people owning these assault weapons cuz why not go have fun with them? The idea would be stopping people who are going to commit horrible crimes and massacres from getting them. And I don't know how to do that. And clearly nobody else does either. <laughs> nobody knows how. Uh, I don't know. It seems like you guys want a magic cure. A magic cure that will magically, we can tap a, a magic wand into everybody's brain to know what they're going to do with the gun. And that just is not a realistic thing. It's not. And uh, this bullshit of, oh, just ban all the guns so then it can never happen. Nah, sorry fam. Uh, I, don't, I don't agree with that either. I don't care. I don't care. Are you in favor of decriminalizing drug use? Yeah. Do you support affirmative action programs? No. Should teachers be allowed to carry guns at school? Sure. Uh, if they're all trained up for it, then sure, yeah. Shoot that Sandy Hook fucker in the face. Just do it. Uh, should local police increase surveillance and patrol of Muslim neighborhoods? Yeah, no. <laughs> should people on the no-fly list be banned from purchasing guns and ammunition? The no-fly list, it depends on why they're on there. Like, they'll probably put me and Rusty Cage on there soon because we make comedy videos on the internet. A teacher accidentally shot a kid? I don't fucking care. Yeah, accidents are gonna happen. I'm sure, uh... If you're, if you're in a classroom, if you're a student or a teacher in a classroom, and a gunman walks in with a gun and is going to open fire, are you gonna say, yeah, and I'm fine waiting for the police to come. I'm glad my teacher does not have a weapon to defend us. If you're honestly going to say that, then feel free to say it. Me, personally, I would rather <laughs> a trained professional gun owner be in the room with a weapon to stop the attack. That's just me. If you want to wait 20 minutes for a pussy cop, like at the, uh, the Valentine's Day shooting... Down at Stoneman Douglas, that fucking pussy cop who stood outside because he was too scared to go in. If you're gonna wait for him to save you, then I'll I'll see you at your fucking funeral, buddy. I'll go say hello to your fucking tombstone. Fuck that cop. He sh they should fucking shoot him. Fuck you. Anyway, people on the no-fly list should they be banned from purchasing guns? <sighs> Ban the sale of guns and ammunition to anyone. Okay, shouldn't have opened up more stances. Slippery slope. Uh, if you're too dangerous to board a plane, you should not be able to buy a gun. But why am I on the list? I could be on the list for fucking bullshit reasons. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put a soft no, because I don't want to type in my own answer. Should it be illegal to burn the American flag? Are you fucking retarded? That's how you're supposed to dispose of it. Isn't it flag law? The only way to properly dispose of the American flag is to burn it. Are you, have you people ever taken a flag class? I took a 300 level flag course in college, folks. Okay. Should there be term limits set for uh, members of Congress? Yeah. Absolutely. 
Should the redrawing of congressional districts be controlled by an independent nonpartisan commission? I and I in an ideal magical world, yes. But uh <laughs> I don't think there's any such thing. Should victims of gun violence be allowed to sue? Now here's the thing. Should they be uh, allowed to sue? Yes. Is the lawsuit absolutely fucking retarded and should be thrown out of court immediately? Also, yes. Let's see if there's a stance for that. Oh yeah, you can sue. You'll just be wasting your own money and then lose in court. Uh, I absolutely believe that the the dealers and manufacturers are not responsible for the gun violence, but I don't want to take away some idiot's right to sue them. Uh, uh, is it in here? Any business should be held liable if the primary use of its product is for illegal... Okay, that's bullshit. As long as the losing party pays all, pays all legal fees, it's our constitutional right to sue anyone for any reason. You're goddamn right it is. Should the NSA, National Security Agency, be allowed to collect basic metadata of citizens' phone calls? No, oh, fuck you. Should the government regulate social media sites as a means to prevent fake news and misinformation? They should regulate it so that monopolies like YouTube can't fucking ban me for bullshit! <laughs> Verifiably provable bullshit! But not, not as a means of fake news shit. Government should not determine what is fake or real news. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Should the government be allowed to seize private property with reasonable compensation for public or civic use? Uh, my gut's telling me no. Don't, don't try to take my goddamn property. Should the government pass laws which protect whistleblowers? Yes. Should the government raise the retirement age for social security? No. If anything, lower that shit. Do you support the Patriot Act? Uh, is that more of this spying shit? In response to the 9-11 attacks, the Patriot Act expanded intelligence gathering capabilities, including monitoring of foreign financial transactions, detaining and deporting immigrants suspected of terrorism, wiretaps, business record searches, and surveillance of individuals. Fuck you. Get out of my goddamn phone. Should the US government grant immunity to Edward Snowden? Sure. I like that guy. Should the military upgrade Air Force One? No. Healthcare issues. Okay, we're, we're about three-fourths of the way done now. Or maybe two-thirds. We're really flying through now with these speed round. Should health insurers be allowed to deny coverage to individuals who have a pre-existing condition? Should they be allowed to? Sure. Yeah, sure. Just, uh, go, f go find uh, an insurance company that's better. You know, free market, blah, blah, blah. I've already said this before. Should the government regulate the prices of life-saving drugs? This one I want to say yes to, because you have fuckers like, uh, like that, that dipshit who is now in jail, who was, uh, artificially inflating the price of his, uh, what, penicillin drug or whatever to, like, like increase the price by, like, 80,000%. Fuck that. All drug prices should be forcibly brought down. Especially when uh, these companies, you know, Big Pharma, they have all these monopolies on this shit. There's no competition at all. If your only option is the is the uh, pill that's been increased in price by 80,000%, then regulate that shit. That's what I say. I don't care if that's against the, uh, the free market. I, I'm willing to be uh, hypocritical in some stances when uh, when common sense just has to take over my other beliefs. Do you support the legalization of marijuana? Yeah. Should the government increase funding for mental health research and treatment? How much is it already? Okay, didn't need that. Oh, I guess uh, there's no more information about it. Uh, only increase funding for personalized care instead of subsidizing pharmaceutical companies. Yes, our mental health care system needs more funding to provide a higher... Um, incentivize private companies to, to address the issue. Hmm, I don't know. That's a toughie. This quiz has been going on for two hours and eight minutes. Uh, I do like the idea of increasing mental health research and treatment. 
I don't know about the government being forced or forcing people to do that. I do like incentivizing companies to do it, though. Do you support a single-payer healthcare system? I always get so confused by by what these healthcare systems actually mean. Single-payer healthcare is a system where every citizen pays the government to provide core healthcare services to all residents. So it's like uh, national healthcare. It's not through companies, it's through the government. Under this system, the government may provide the care themselves or pay a private healthcare provider to do so. In a single-payer system, all residents receive healthcare regardless of age, income, or health status. Countries with single-payer healthcare systems include UK, Canada, to okay. Uh, I know this one's also very controversial with people, and I, I'm really uneducated about the whole thing and also don't care that much. The system is too expensive. Yeah, yeah. Canada's healthcare system, uh, they get fucking ripped off. It's way expensive. Uh, private companies should not be able to profit off of healthcare. That's kind of fucking stupid. I mean, poor people ideally would just get their own insurance. I don't know why I would... Why should the entire country be responsible for paying for, uh, for, like, some poor guy's medical procedure? Like, get your own fucking insurance. If you can't get a job that offers insurance, then just fucking pay for insurance. And if you can't afford it, well, <laughs> I guess that's why I said we should increase the minimum wage! I'm not a real Bernie bro. I guess not. I don't know. I, I want to pay my own insurance. I don't want to pay extra to insure people who are not me. You get what I'm saying? I'm a selfish guy. I want to pay the least amount of money possible for my own personal insurance. So I'm going to say no. If you can't insure yourself, then, then I guess get fucked. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've lost all empathy today. That's just me. I don't want to pay... I don't want to pay extra for the same amount of personal benefit to me. If you get what I'm saying. Should the federal government increase funding of healthcare for low-income individuals? Uh, I mean... It's the same shit I just said, right? Each state should decide their own level of coverage. Yeah, sure. I like that. If, if we can say, no, not federal, let's let the state decide. I always like those answers much better. Let the state decide. Because then people can vote on it and shit. And uh, if you don't like the way it works in your state, move to a different fucking state. I like that so much more. Should people be required to work in order to receive Medicaid? Um, so Medicaid is the one for poor people, right? Uh, I'm just gonna say, yeah, if you're, if you're poor, but you want to, Medicaid helps poor people, Medicaid, so, if you want the insurance, man, if you don't have a fucking job, then fuck you, why am I giving you money? What are you fucking doing? Should cities open drug safe havens where people who are addicted to illegal drugs can use them under the supervision of medical professionals? I don't, f Sure. <laughs> if, if you want to, sure. Go for it, man. That sounds cool. <laughs> I'll go do it. Should the federal government be allowed to negotiate drug prices for Medicare? Ne what? Ne uh, should they be allowed to negotiate? I don't know. This one's out of my pay grade. I like the idea of negotiations. So I'll say yes. Do you support the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, a.k.a. Obamacare? Uh, yeah, okay. Act grants the federal government significant regulatory powers and price controls over U.S. medical... If you're too sick to get a job, monkey. Well, then just fucking kill him, man. What, are you just laying around sick all day? Taking, God, uh, uh, <laughs> public funds? Like, why are you even alive? Just go to a different country. I don't care about you. I don't give a fuck. Obamacare is the reason why I... 
Stay on my parents' health care until I'm 26? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I support it. <laughs> Should there be more or less privatization of veterans' health care? I don't know. I, uh, my grandma's last boyfriend died in one of those uh, veteran hospitals. And evidently, it was very poor treatment in complete dog shit. Why do I keep clicking on that and it takes me to a different link? Yeah, evidently the VA is complete fucking shit. Replace the VA healthcare system with a personal less we should... Veterans should be able to see any doctor. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that one. Uh, from everything from my experience tells me that the VA is fucking dog shit. Yeah, my grandma... Well, because my grandma's husbands keep dying and she didn't marry the last guy she was with, so that would be grandma's boyfriend. And she also died. <laughs> So, what are you going to do? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, rip grandma's girl or grandma's boyfriend. Your monkey's grandma has fucking game. Yeah, the game of life and all of her husbands and boyfriends keep losing it. They keep dying. What's going on? Grandma keeps poisoning them. Do you support increasing taxes for the rich in order to reduce interest rates for student loans? Sure. Fuck them. That's just fuck. I fucking hate billionaires. What do you want me to do? Should the federal government pay for tuition at four-year colleges and universities? No. No, I think going to college is a choice. Uh, it's a choice. If you can't earn your scholarships, if you can't pay for it yourself, I think that college is way too expensive, and it's a ripoff in a lot of cases, and a lot of people waste waste their time getting shitty useless degrees like I did. If the government paid for me to get my useless degree that I'm not using, you all would have got fucking ripped off. No. No, find your own way to pay for it. Do you support Common Core National Standards? Common Core states... I, I learned about this uh, in my studies to become a teacher, but I don't... I need a refresher course on it. Education initiative that details what K through 12 students should know in English and math at the end of each grade. Okay. I support the concept, but so the concept is all students in all states have to meet the same standards for uh, these different uh, uh, things. My gut's telling me that Common Core is uh, pretty flawed and shitty. My state's current standards exceed Common Core standards. I don't know if my state does, but I do like the idea of just having state-by-state -state standards. I love, I love it when you can just let the states choose. You don't like the standards in your state? Well, buddy, you can go to a different one. You have options. I love having options. Sure. Let, let the states choose their individual standards. Should the federal government fund universal preschool? No. No. Preschool, uh, I don't think you need preschool. You don't need it. And, uh, if your parents have to ba pay for a babysitter when you're four years old anyway, just fucking send them to fucking preschool! You support charter schools. Charter schools are taxpayer funded. Taxpayer funded K through 12 schools that are managed by private companies in the U.S. There are approximately 2.9 million students enrolled. Charter schools are approved and governed by city blah 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 beneficiaries of private schools. Include. Okay. I didn't preschool and I'm a dropout. Wow, Skumkey can't believe you didn't learn how to color inside the lines when you were four and now you, uh, you you dropped out of high school. What could have happened? Charter schools are cancer. Pre-cum school. Oh, oof. Uh, we should focus on improving our public schools and increasing teacher wages instead. Sure, why not? Why the fuck not? Should the U.S. remain in the United Nations? Sure. 
Should every 18-year-old citizen be required to provide at least one year of military service? Go fuck yourself! No slave labor from me, baby! You're not enslaving me today! You won't force me to do a motherfucking thing! Should the U.S. accept refugees from Syria? Ah, uh, sure. No single Muslim men, that seems a little discriminatory. Sure. Why not? Should the military be allowed to use enhanced interrogation techniques techniques such as waterboarding to gain information from suspected terrorists? Sure. I don't I don't fucking care. Should the US continue to support Israel? Oof, here's the big meme. I don't have any fucking idea. I have no goddamn idea. I don't know shit about Israel and Palestine. I don't know. Cut all aid. Fuck Israel. No. Oy vey, support Israel. I don't like us giving so much money to any of these countries. Maybe I don't know how it works, but I don't like the idea of billions of our dollars going to support foreign countries whatsoever. Cut all support and aid. Yes, with more aid and support. I'll just say no. I'm tired of giving money to other people. Should the U.S. remain, or to other countries, I mean, in NATO? Which one is NATO? Military alliance? Oh, sure. Should the U.S. conduct military strikes against North Korea in order to destroy? No, because then they're just going to fucking fire nukes at us. You're playing with fire there. You're going to get burned. Should f I don't think America should be isolationist. I just don't know why. Like, are, are, we're giving Israel, what, what, $300 billion. What are we getting in exchange? Are they sending us $300 billion of their own money? No, they're not. What are we, why are we fucking doing this? For what purpose? Should foreign terrorism suspects be given constitutional rights? No! If you're not an American citizen, you don't deserve fucking constitutional rights. Get the fuck out of here. Should the U.S. sell military weapons to India in order to counter Chinese and Russian influence? I don't know about all that, but I don't mind selling weapons to them. Should the military fly drone... Should the military fly drones over foreign countries to gain intelligence? Uh, sure. Do you support Obama's move to lift the trade and travel embargo on Cuba? Yeah, I do. Should the U.S. increase or decrease foreign aid spending? Decrease. Should the U.S. formally declare war on ISIS? I thought we already did that. Should the U.S. send ground troops into Syria to fight ISIS? Do we really need this, uh, this boots on the ground bullshit? Don't we have... So much technology now, we can just fucking call a duty ourselves into those countries and, and blast the fuck out of them. I'm pretty sure we can. <laughs> no, no more boots on the ground. Decrease military. Decrease it all. Invest in Call of Duty technology, where fat neckbeard gamers from the comfort of their own homes can operate drones and <laughs> fucking kill them all. Hell yeah. <laughs> Should the U.S. provide military aid to Saudi Arabia during its con- No! I don't fucking care about them. Should the government attempt to influence foreign elections? No! <laughs> Should the U.S. provide military assistance to defend Ukraine from Russia? No. I don't care. Should the- Should it be illegal to join a boycott of Israel? What? No. What? Illegal to join a boycott of Israel? Should the U.S. defend other NATO countries that maintain low military defense budgets relative... Should we defend the people who we are in an alliance with? Uh, yes. I would say so. I mean, defend them to an extent, but I don't... Depends on what kind of defense we're talking about here. But if we're in an alliance, we should uh, be working together, right? Should the U.S. continue NSA surveillance of its allies? I don't know, it seems kind of fucked up to me. Should the government increase or decrease military? Decrease by a lot. 
Uh, okay, there's no decrease by a lot option. Fuck it. Should the U.S. prevent Russia from conducting airstrikes in Syria? No, why? We're not the goddamn world police. If, so if somebody else wants to do it, they can fucking do it. Why would the U.S. specifically be responsible for that shit? There's a whole world of first world countries with plenty of money in the military that can do that shit. Yeah, we shouldn't be defending Europe from themselves. It's goddamn right. I'm not the goddamn world police. Should the government cancel production of the F-35 fighter? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to say yes. Should the police officers be required to wear body cameras? Absolutely! You don't want to be falsely accused of misconduct? Record the whole thing, baby. Oh, oh no. Now, they're gonna, now we're going to have evidence of how much of our tax dollars are wasted on you fucking sitting in your car eating a donut, you fucking pig. Record the whole thing. You're a... You're a public figure, baby. I'm paying your bills. What do you got to hide? Fuck you. Should convicted criminals have the right to vote? Yeah, I don't know why they don't. Should the government hire private companies to run prisons? Well, if you're getting arrested on a government level, then you're going to... You would think that the government facility you go to for your punishment would be a prison. So, no. I would say no. Do you support mandatory minimum prison sentences for people charged with... Dr no. I don't think you should go to jail for having, like, what, weed on you and all that? No, fuck that. Should prisons ban the use of solitary confinement for juvenile... Uh... I was gonna say yes, but... Man, you're a 15-year-old kid and you, you can't stop getting into fights and trying to stab your cellmate? Yeah, throw that little fucker in solitary confinement. Should nonviolent prisoners be released from jail in order to reduce overcrowding? Uh, not all of them, but I imagine a shit ton of them. They must perform community service on a daily basis? Put them under house arrest? Yeah, if prisons are really that overcrowded, the nonviolent prisoners, I think, uh... No, there's too much. There's too much prison. I'm gonna say it. there's too much prison, folks. Too many people in prison for bullshit that most of us probably do every day. Should drug traffickers receive the death penalty? No. Should the electoral college be abolished? No. I don't like the idea of three cities deciding each election. Should a photo ID be required to vote? Uh, sure. Should foreigners currently residing in the United States have the right to vote? No. <laughs> what? What kind of question is that? I'm seeing a lot of fuck no's and hell yeahs in the chat. I don't even know what they're responding to. <laughs> I don't know what controversial opinion I gave that everybody's going absolutely crazy. <laughs> uh, should there be a limit to the amount of money a candidate can receive from a donor? Yes. I'm so sick of, of, uh, like, uh, lobbying bullshit. I'm so sick of it. Should foreign lobbyists be allowed to raise money for American elections? No! Get out of my election! Should political candidates be required to release their recent tax returns to the public? Required to do so? I don't know why they would be. Should the minimum voting age be lowered? Fuck no. Should corporations, unions, and nonprofit organizations be allowed to donate to political parties? No! No! Corporations are not fucking people! No! If, if people in the corporation want to donate as an individual, then go for it. But as a corporation, fuck no. This isn't NASCAR. This is not fucking NASCAR. Hillary Clinton sh doesn't need to be walking around with fucking Exxon Mobil a sticker on her jacket. People can donate, not corporations. Fuck off, you're not a person. Should a politician who has been formally convicted of a crime be allowed to run for office? Sure, I, I, don't, I don't have this stigma against uh, criminals and former criminals being involved in politics. And are even voting or any of that. Corporations are not people. McDonald's is not a person. 
Walmart is not a person. It's not. Should there be a five-year ban on White House and congressional officials from becoming lobbyists after they leave the government? More than that, I'd say never let them do it. Lifetime ban. Fuck you. Should the U.S. build a wall along the southern border? Ooh, buddy! Ow, ow! Yes, and Mexico should pay for it! Ow, ow! <laughs> Hell yeah! Build that wall! It's what we require! Build it ten feet higher! That's right, we're singing Moon Man on this stream. Make it a tech surveillance barrier instead of a physical one. This would be too costly. Man, I love the wall as a meme, as an actual thing. I have no idea if it would be better for anything or not. I have no idea. I've seen so many arguments saying, oh, it would do this and this, but no, it wouldn't do this and this. I, I don't know. Military presence? No. Should adopt an order open border policy? Fuck no. It does sound like the wall is going to be a little bit too expensive. I'm going to I'm going to do the fucking meme answer. I'll say yes, but Mexico should pay for it. <laughs> I don't mind having the wall there, but I I do mind paying for it. So I'm going to give the the biggest meme answer possible. Yes, if Mexico's paying for that shit. There you go. How can you argue with that? In this fantastical magic world where Mexico actually pays for the wall, why would you have a problem with it? It's not our problem. Mexico's paying for that shit. Ten feet higher! Hell yeah! Should there be a temporary ban on all immigration? No. Should Muslim immigrants be banned from entering the country until the government improves its ability? No. No, and I, I'm so sick of this fucking meme that calling Trump a racist or whatever for this Muslim ban. It's not a Muslim ban. It's a ban on countries with high uh, suspected amounts of terrorism that just so happen to have a large Muslim population. Nobody in the world with a logical, rational brain is saying, if you're a Muslim in general, you should not be allowed to enter the country. That's fucking insanity. That'd be what? So Muslims from the UK would be banned? Muslims from uh, uh, every first world country banned? Are you kidding me? No! No! It's countries with suspected terrorism that happen to be mostly Muslim. It's not Muslims from around the world being banned. Anyway. Uh, so no. Should children of illegal immigrants be granted legal citizenship? The way I see it, and I think the way the Constitution sees it, any person born on American soil is an American, regardless of what their parents are. And that's where I stand to uh, believe that. Yes, if they are born here. Sorry, 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 little Pedro. Your parents are illegal. We have to deport them. They can take you with them if they want, but you you get to stay. You're an American citizen. You were born here. Should immigrants be deported if they commit a serious crime? Well, when you say immigrants, are they American citizens? In which case, just treat them like any other citizen. After they have finished serving their sentence. Only if they have entered, yeah, only if they have entered the country illegally. If you're an American citizen, you should be treated like any other American citizen. End birthright citizenship, uphold that constitution. We got so many conflicting opinions here. Should illegal immigrants have access to government subsidy? No, what the fuck? Should immigrants be required to learn English? Required? I would, I would say no, but... They cannot expect a high quality of life. Uh, if you don't speak English in the United States, good luck getting by. As long as my rights are not infringed, I don't give a fuck. But let's see what these other stances are. Government should provide them free language learning courses? No. 
Remove multilingual translations from. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna say no. Now, if you think you can, if you want to live life on hard mode and live in America without speaking English, be my guest. Just don't expect me to uh, accommodate you in any way. What, the fourth one? We should embrace the diversity in immigrants. Oh, oh. <laughs> should illegal immigrants be offered in-state tuition rates at public college? They shouldn't be offered fucking anything. They're illegal immigrants. Get them the fuck out of my country. Become a legal immigrant. Get the fuck out. I don't go to your country illegally and try to get your free shit. Are you kidding me? Should local law enforcement be allowed to detain illegal immigrants for minor crimes and transfer them to federal? I mean, if you're in the country fucking illegally, then you should not be here. I, if I enter any country illegally, I give that country permission to get me the fuck out. It's like, what are you talking about? You are not legally allowed to be in this country. Go, sign the paperwork. Get the visa, or get the fuck out! I don't let goddamn people in my house uninvited! Why would I let people in the country uninvited? Come on! What if they're on vacation? If you're on vacation, you're not an illegal immigrant. It is legal to go on vacation! Come on! What are you talking about? An illegal immigrant is somebody who entered the country illegally or overstayed their visa should immigrants be required to pass a citizenship test to demonstrate a basic understanding um personally i say no i say no i uh i don't think you have to understand the country's language i mean i already said no to that i, I know lots and lots of people who don't know a goddamn thing about our country's history or government so why would we have that expectation of uh, somebody who wants to move here? I think that should be irrelevant to trying to become a citizen legally. I think we should be looking at other things. What if you go on vacation and burn your passport while on vacation? I mean, I don't think that makes you an illegal immigrant, right? Uh, either get a new passport or I guess we'll give you a ride home. <laughs> should working illegal immigrants be given temp- No! No! Should sanctuary cities receive federal funding? A sanctuary city is a city that adopts local policies designed to not prosecute people solely for being an undocumented individual in the country. Uh, we should ban the use of sanctuary cities. I mean, I don't, I don't know about this one. I, sh uh, federal funding, like in general, sure. Whatever, I don't know. Should the U.S. increase restrictions on its current border security policy? Congress has passed at least four laws since 1986 authorizing increases in Border Patrol personnel. Okay. Uh, enforce the current border policy, implement an open border policy. Mm, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Increase? I'm sure it's doing fine. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. Should immigrants to the United States be allowed to hold dual citizenship status? Yes. Should the U.S. increase or decrease the amount of temporary work visas given to high-skilled immigrant workers? Uh, so, a high-skilled immigrant worker gets a visa to come work over here to benefit our economy? Sure, why not? Should the government increase spending on public transportation? Let's see these other stances. Provide more free public transportation only if the spending goes towards environmentally friendly solutions. We should reduce current spending. We should have more important issues that need funding. I'm satisfied with the current amount. Uh, I don't really use very much public transportation. O only when I'm in New York do I use, like, the subway and the buses and all that shit. Um. 
I mean, uh, anything that benefits, like, the people in in that way, like, but, but it's already good, right? Like, what more do we need? What, are we going to build more buses and shit? I, I think uh, they got plenty. I've been traveling on public transportation in New York a lot lately, and it, it seems fine to me. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I don't need any more. It's mostly awful. Well, you know, you, uh, you just wait for the fucking bus, dude. <laughs> like, if you can't afford a goddamn moped to get around your city, just wait for the fucking bus and pay your 50 cents to get on. Should the government require children to be vaccinated for preventable diseases? Woofy! Let me be the first to say I am not one of those anti-vax fuckers. I do think everybody should be vaccinated. I think if you don't believe that, you're probably a <laughs> low IQ individual. But my problem comes into government forcing people to do things like that. I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, I think everybody should be, even if that means stepping in at a government level. And if people choose to not do it, they're not only risking their own children, but everybody else. Because then, unless everybody is vaccinated, uh, there's, a, there's a chance uh, that these fucking diseases will keep spreading. So you know what? I'll just say yes. Fuck it. I want to say, like, it's natural selection at its finest or whatever, like the guy in the chat said. But if I can get the measles or whatever the hell because you didn't vaccinate your kid, even though I'm vaccinated... Fuck that. National health crisis over here. And even if it does cause autism, which it doesn't, what's so bad about being autistic? According to the new Predator movie, autism is the next step in human uh, evolution. Half of you in the chat are autistic, and you all seem pretty good. <laughs> what's wrong with being autistic? What do we have against being autistic? Disgusting. Autistic pride, that's right. Should producers be required to label genetically engineered? I don't fucking know. Uh, does anybody know? Do I, do, do I care about GMOs being in my shit? GMOs are good. It's not about whether it's good or bad. It's should the producers be required to label them so that we know... It is a GMO, whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't fucking care. No, I don't, I don't care. Man, I'll eat anything. Oh my god, only two more questions, folks. This only took three hours. Do you support the use of nuclear energy? Fuck yeah, I do. Should the government fund space travel? Hell yeah, it should. Not answering who I'm gonna vote for, because that's why I'm taking this thing. Which qualities are most important to you in a candidate? Ooh, okay. Interesting. Um, leadership, sure. Transparency, sure. Morality, eh, subjective. Commitment, uh, honesty, sure. Intelligence, sure. Effectiveness, yeah. Sure. I'm clicking on most of these, ain't I? Electability, no, I don't care about that. Ability to inspire, no. Integrity. Uh, I'll go with those. Okay, here we go. Here we go, folks. Three hours we've been doing this bad boy. Whoever I side with the most is who I will be voting for and supporting in the 2020 election. It could be anybody. Everybody in the chat, tell me who you're hoping for. Are you hoping for Yang Gang? You hoping for Bernie? You hoping for uh, Camilla? You hoping for Pocahontas? You hoping for Trump? You hoping for Jeb? Who are you hoping for? Joe Biden? Let's go. Let's do it. Give me my results, baby. Ah, <laughs> I can't wait to see who I'm voting for. Yang gang. Yang gang. Yang gang. Give me that Yang gang. It's motherfucking... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tulsi Gabbard? Bernie, no, you were so close, Bernie, no! No! 
Oh, oh, Bernie! You were so close, Bernie! Bernie, I wanted you! I don't know who the fuck this Tulsi Gabbard bitch is! Oh, Bernie, why? Oh, Bernie. She's hot as shit. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. This, she's hot as shit? Let's take a look. If she's hot as shit... What, is this like the new AOC? 37 years old. From Hawaii. Okay. Married. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, I've never heard of this bitch, and I know for a fact she's not gonna win. She probably won't even be invited to any debates. But, uh, I said I would support whoever I get. <laughs> Bernie, you were so close. Bernie, you were so close. But, uh, instead I'm supporting this bitch who nobody has ever heard of, who will not step foot on a debate stage. How far down is Ying? Yeah, let's take a look. Tulsi, Bernie, Beto, John Delaney, Castro. Wow, Yang's all the way down there. Uh, Kamala, Pete, Elizabeth Warren, and Yang are all tied at 71. Corey in the house at 63. Joe Biden's all the way down at... Wow, I'm, I'm about the same on Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And Kasich's even lower than Trump. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I'm a dirty lib now. I'm a guy who voted for Trump two or three years ago, and look where I am now. Nothing but fucking blue, baby. Monkey's a lib cuck confirmed. What happened? How accurate were these results? Uh, not accurate. <laughs> All right, folks. That was our, uh, that was our politics stream. Yeah, I guess I'm officially a cuck now. I want my thousand dollars! Yang, gang! Yang, I'm so sorry! Yang, I'm sorry! Please give me my thousand dollars! Yang, please! I'm so sorry! Tulsi has a lot of acne stars, scars. She is my candidate! She is my candidate! Oh, Tulsi, I love you. I don't care if you're... How old are you again? I don't care if you're 37. I'll still be good to you. My sweet, sweet princess. LGTB is let's get that bag. What, like a bag of a thousand dollars? Is that what you mean? No, yeah, I guess I'm voting for this bitch. Nobody's heard of her, but I'm voting for her. Sympathy for becoming a libcuck. Thank you, Simon. I appreciate it. All right, folks. It's uh, it's about two in the morning. I guess uh, maybe we should call it a stream, huh? We've been going for three hours. Three hours of politics. Three hours of politics. What should our next stream be? Let's talk it out. Let's talk it out, chat. What do you want? You want to you want me to play uh, Spyro on the next stream? You want me to play some Pokemon? Should we play a game? I, I really want to play Thrillville. Should we play Thrillville, folks? Yu-Gi-Oh! My money's on Thrillville myself. I want to start a new file on Thrillville. Build some fucking theme parks. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I do want to play that. Yeah, I'd play that. Not Yu-Gi-Oh. We got one guy who likes Thrillville. We could do uh, Spyro. Yu-Gi-Oh. Would I get drunk for Thrillville? Probably not. Maybe, uh, you know what? I'll make a deal. I have recently basically given up on drinking. I, I do it maybe once a week at most now. But I had this old series called Drunk Thrillville, where I would just get drunk and play Thrillville. Maybe if I do the Thrillville stream, and since I'm a businessman, I'll sell out my morality and ideals. Maybe for every $10 donation I get, I'll take a shot. <laughs> How's that sound? 
maybe maybe more maybe for for every twenty dollars I earn not from individuals but like in total I'll take a shot how's that sound make it 50 uh, that might be a little high I mean I I can handle like up to four or five shots I think uh, drinking once a week is a lot less than drinking every day like I used to be doing A shot of what? Uh, I don't know, probably vodka or something. $30 equals one sheep bruise on monkey. Oof. Uh, may maybe we'll do it at an even 25. So for every 100 bucks, I'll take four shots. I doubt we'll make 100 bucks in that stream anyway, because it's Thrillville and we'll have about 80 viewers. But I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I finished the quiz. The results were Tulsi Gabbard with 81% and Bernie Sanders with 79%. Okay, folks, that's the plan. Tomorrow night, I'm going to do some drunk Thrillville. Going to take a shot for every 25 bucks we make. Uh, and if I don't drink at all, that's fine by me. <laughs> uh, see you tomorrow, folks. Thanks for tuning in for three hours of political content. I look forward to getting... Uh, uh, links sent to me of all these that guy said he's gonna write a medium article exposing me but then like every single answer or every single result was a uh, democratic maybe I just I won't be liberal enough I only support Bernie Sanders 79% of the time <laughs> okay oh, yeah, tomorrow night's Friday well I mean sheep uh, just because we're going out to a bar tomorrow night doesn't mean I can't do a stream Whatever, I'm done. Bye.